a second. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Oh my god, dude, why are you so loud? Well, I'm turning down a little bit. It's not god. that loud. Oh, hey, what's for me? I guess I turned him up at some point between this and last session. I don't know. Hey, gamers. Hi, Dad. We're here. Welcome to Dungeon Select Elements of Keldar, session 47. We're, uh, we're you know, we're racking up the sessions. Uh, today we are down a Sokoler because he's, uh, I don't even know, he just has shit to do in, next in Utah, weeks. right? Sorry? He's in Utah. Right, there you go. So he's going to be missing both today and next week, if I'm remembering correctly. I believe so. But, um, regardless, we're here with, uh, uh, this should be an interesting session because, uh, a lot of shit happened and uh, the... You know, one of the party members may or may not be turned into a statue, among other things. What do you um, mean, may or may not? <laughs> but the party all leveled up, so they have some uh, some some cool new new tricks slash strengths, whatever the, the frick it may be, depending on what they leveled up into. Um, before we get into today's session, uh, do we have any announcements? Uh, the one that we had uh, last week, and I think. We'll still have next week as well. It'll be the very end of it. But Charity Select is still happening. We are at 770 pounds raised right now. Only 30 yeah, yeah. pounds away from the next incentives, which one of them is your incentive, Ethan, your Animal Crossing cozy stream, if we hit 800 pounds cozy. raised. And if we hit 900 pounds, Dutch has to do Hot Chili Part 2, and I'm excited for that. Oh, so. dude. Was I, was, I, was I on VoIP with when I did that last time? We were playing Blood Hunt. Was it you, Ethan? It was me. Yeah, I was yeah, just giving you so much That was shit. a fucking strip, dude. Holy <laughs> fuck. It was the way that, like, I viscerally heard the crunch through the mic. Yeah, and dude. then there was just silence. And then there was just... <laughs> <laughs> I think there's still, like, a clip somewhere of my... Just, my, just, just that whole ordeal. It was, it was bad. It was also, bad. at 900. I think it was Cobra a Scots, 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 Scotch a... Bonnets, I think. Is what I, yeah, what I yes. Nice. yes, it was. Also at 900, Cobra and I are going to do a Hades randomizer speedrun race. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. But so there's lots of oh, good stuff sick. coming. And then, Which? of course, this Thursday yes. on this channel, we're doing a special charity one-shot bringing back Dutch's Witcher universe, yes. Witcher characters. So, uh, last year for Charity Select, we did a one-shot set in uh, the universe of the Witcher, taking place uh, a couple years before uh, The Witcher 3. Uh, we're taking game canon, not book canon, because I know more of the game canon lore-wise, and I know more of that world than the books. So we took the game's canon to, to kind of have some fun in. Uh, and last time, uh, you know, because witches from different schools don't really tend to work together that much, but last time there was a, an unusual threat that required several witchers from several schools to work together <clears throat> to defeat, which they did. And now, a year later, word of their unusual team-up has traveled, and they are all being summoned to... Uh, the island kingdom of Skellige, summoned by uh, the king of Ardskellig, uh, of the Ancraish family, um, to do something. But we'll full find some. out. Do Sorry, the king of Clan I, have a... <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. You need to get awesome to come in and guess. Are we allowed, <laughs> like, the, the items we had before, mm -hmm. are, are we allowed to make any changes or are we add are we allowed like an additional or no is it same everything we had before um i'll have a thunk on that i feel like okay. level wise and stuff we'll keep it all the same because we haven't changed we're the same yeah yeah so we'll probably right. keep it just the way it was um okay. i might swap I out the one magic item my, like my magic items are still going to be in the same theme for the character i made but i might swap out the one that i used on stream and then i'll have the one that didn't use and then a new one just for fun. If you're, yeah, I'll I mean, send it to yeah, you, and you, you can approve it if you like it or not. That's if fine. Not, then that's I'll fine. With what yeah, I I'll put a message in the in the group chat after after today um, about magic item stuff. But I, I was kind of thinking, just keep it the way it was, really. Uh, okay. But if you want to like make some changes and you know, swap out one magic item for the other, just let me know which one, and then sure, we'll, uh, we'll rock with it. So, minor announcement. But obviously, the Twitter poll from last week was all done. <laughs> Uh, it's been decided that we're doing a Hellboy one shot. Yeah. For charity select reward. Um, I've not decided how I'm picking people for this yet. I haven't decided whether I'm going to start with top donators and see who says yes, or whether I'm just going to pick randomly from donators. But we will see. And there will be. I've had to start prepping it already. It's a big fucking book. Um, it should be sufficiently scary and fucking weird. 
Hell yeah. And that's very exciting. Big up Hellboy. Awesome. Uh, anyone else? Anything Hi. that they want to say or share? Uh, uh, just that I keep thinking I was in the Witcher one shot, but then I remember I just edited it really, like, like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I just keep thinking that I was there. <laughs> I wasn't. I just watched it about five thousand times. Thousand million. Yeah, it was a good one shot. It was one of my one of my better ones. It was a I great one like, shot. Uh, I recommend it. It's on YouTube. I have to go rewatch it. Yeah, it if you want to catch up and uh, <laughs> catch up on yeah. the previous adventures of this group of witchers oh. before you uh, you watch them this Thursday. I might um, legit rewatch it just to remember like what? the interactions voices? with the other characters. I, oh, my voice is easy because yeah. I'm There's playing into an archetype hardcore. Off, but again, in the Discord if. Yeah, cool. I mean, nobody again. nobody That's forgot Laura's like witch here because it was just the most <laughs> valley girl fucking, oh, God, it's great. Oh, yeah, I remember. It's fucking great. <laughs> um, a big stinky man. I remember. Okay. girl witch here. Oh uh, God, last God. thing, I guess, oh, um, I haven't DM'd the group yet, but we talked about it at the start of Charity Select, and I'm going to start the formal organization of it, but because I tried to do a group Among Us kickoff stream and then realized I planned it for a day, I was not available. So sure did. Sure I did. am <laughs> going to try and get the group to do another, like start Charity Select and end Charity Select with Chaos Among Us and see if, how many people we can Amogus. get uh, for either like someday, sometime in the last like 48 or 72 hours of Charity Select. And if the same group, if some people aren't available, it might ask some other people. We'll see what happens. We'll figure it out. But that'll also be happening soon. Lots of cool shit. Yeah. We should think of some, uh, like, some incentives for, like, donations for that stream to kind of, like, you know, if someone donates, you know, the imposter needs to do something or one of the one of the crewmates, something like that, you know, like, make make it a little more interesting. That'd be cool. We talked about it last time, but uh, that'd be something to, to thunk about. We did Excellent. also talk about doing Hellish Uno. Oh, fuck off. I'd be down. <laughs> anyway, Hello. I think that's about it. All right. Uh, before we get going... Uh, so this Thursday there will be a Witcher charity one shot instead of Dungeon Discourse. Um, so we'll just skip Discourse this week and do a big one the week here after. Um, dude, what are you snacking on today, man? What am I snacking on today? We got we got we got a bit of snacks today. So main snackage is you've got some uh, maple glazed gammon hand cooked crisps, right? Because super like stream friendly. But the big one, uh -huh. but the big one is the lint chocolate spread. <laughs> I'm just going to be eating with a spoon, oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> no, no. 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 Craig. <laughs> At least for a minute, I thought you maybe were going to be dipping the chips in it for like a sweet, salty, no. like, no. combination. That's oh. Bad. That's bad. The only way it could be worse is if we had a cake fork. I had a fork. I was tempted. You should have. You should have. I would have I forgiven it if you were eating it with a cake fork just for what the dedication to the bit. You? What's, I'm, what's I'm, actually wrong with you? I'm depressed. Next question. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Got it. I'm a, the, I'm a the really sad. I need to add something to Dungeon Select so they don't kick me off. I know what I'll do. I'll make a <laughs> snack corner segment and make it as cursed as I possibly can. Progressively <laughs> worse as like, days go on. Like, like every half a year from now, he's going to be eating snack. like fucking chicken feet on stream or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This week, snackish pickled pig's feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be teaching you how to skin a rabbit live on air. This is going to become our like Sam Regal, where he's going to start making segments that just get progressively more unhinged as we go. God, this is it. Okay, cool. The chocolate dude is quite good. Yeah, you know what else? That'd be really good on on stuff, not on its own. You fucker. Yeah, it's on a spoon. Oh, okay, never mind then. In something, <laughs> like he has a Kong mouth. or something, then puts that, it like, into a it's Kong a really like a dog. That's a reasonable thing to say <laughs> in response to that. That is like the I woke up at 3 a.m., there's nothing in the house, I'm too depressed to no, buy this... go food shopping. I'm no, this was no, this was, this was, My go through no, for that on. is Biscoff spread. This, this was actively, I saw this at my work going quite cheap, and I went, that'd be pretty fucking funny to do as the bit. And then, just, and then I just and I just and I just dedicated it to it. Don't pretend <laughs> no, to it. It would have taken you about five minutes to make some pancakes to put it on. Yeah, but I'm I have a, making pancakes. I have a question. What's up? Before we start, pancakes. I just need clarification from DM slash players, just because my my new level ability, I don't want to misuse it, and then get it in my head that this is how it works. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, is it 
one or two key points for based on the wording. I'm trying to figure out. What is the, wait, what's it, what's it called? It says, as, as a bonus action, this is where it confuses you, or as part of the bonus action you take to activate your arms, you can spend a key point to summon thing I'm not going to spoil yet. So that means if I just summon the thing on its own, it's one key point, but what's I'm summoning it called? with the arms. So I can look it up real quick? Yes. It, yeah, yeah, I know the ability uh, yeah. you're referencing, yeah. and yes. So if yes. you spend okay. a key point... You can just, just do for that. the one thing. Or if you spend a key point on the arms, you can then spend another key point as part of the okay. same bonus action to have both. Yeah, because it, it, it's in the same oh, vein as the spectral right. arms. It's a, a different spectral feature. So I, I was just making sure I didn't think, like, I could get it and the arms for one key point at the same time, and then I play it like that the whole time. Yeah, that'd be really yeah, okay, I, Laura, if you could do that for one, uh, for one, one like, bonus action. Yeah. You did not okay. say anything. Yeah, so I said you. it! <laughs> Before we uh, before we start, I'm gonna make Dutch jealous. I got the garlic knots from Dario's. Oh, fucking lather me up, Daddy. God. It's it's literally right. It's a, like a lasagna dish of garlic dobles, coated in pizza sauce, coated in cheese. Oh my god, it looks so. That sounds. Good, dude. Oh my god, really I'm good so right fucking now. fat. Oh I'm so obese, dude. Oh my god. This okay. is my treat for being consistent with my dieting and going to the gym this morning. I approve. Ten out of ten. Fuck. Just, well, I'll do all the work. <laughs> yeah. I went, I went, like, I've been going, like, doing walks and shit anyway, but I was like, I don't want to cook tonight. I'm going to have takeaway. How can I justify that? I'll go to the gym for, like, a like an hour-long sesh. All right. So, with that all out of the way, last we left off, uh, our party that uh, is now known under several names... Ragtag fuckwits, the diplomats, those fucking idiots from Eldalon. Take your pick. Um, <clears throat> We're not even from Eldalon. That's your one name. Made, the <laughs> <three different. laughs> Made their way through uh, one of the lairs that belongs to Umberly on the Prime Material Plane. Defeated her undead chosen champion of Evander High Castle and an avatar of Umberly herself to properly claim. Umberly's Trident, as part of their quest to um, basically make sure that this item disappears from this plane of existence um, so that it can't fall in the wrong hands. During that, um, the fight itself was a rough fight, the most danger the party has ever been in thus far. Um, it claimed the life of Davian, but luckily... Lazarin had the resources left to um, revive him and put him back on his feet. And Kess <clears throat> got hit by uh, a certain beam of, of, of just dark magic, which turned her into a statue, petrifying her. So, upon the end of the fight, Jax snagging the trident and, and having it in his belongings... Um, you all got transported out of there uh, thanks to Blue, um, who witnessed or like heard the, the trouble that you were in and uh, decided to transport Kess, being that she's now a statue, uh, into the vessel for safekeeping while you guys traveled to Eldalon and teleported you all aboard the ship that you came here on, uh, the Porcupine. So you are now, it's, it's roughly towards the end of the afternoon. You're on the deck of the Porcupine. Captain Vera coming out of her captain's quarters, uh, looking at you all, uh, being on the deck. And, um... Yeah, we'll take uh, it from there, I think. Yes. Nice! <laughs> <clears throat> we'll take Sorry. it from there. So Vera approaches you all. Uh, unexpected, uh... To see I didn't didn't hear your oh. approach. Um So how did it go? I just we... like take some of the like wipe some blood off of my body and give her a, a look. I <laughs> like how did it go? I spit a large <laughs> mouthful of blood onto the deck. Yeah, we just all Ashley says that we all just blew <sighs> We're really right. banged up. We need to go back to to Elon as soon as possible. Um where's your other blue friend doesn't even call me by name what the fuck that bitch well uh 
in the bottle, you know. She in she's in the bottle. Oh. Okay, sure. Um, she's a fucking statue, <clears throat> and we need to go back to to Eldland to get that sorted. That is our All right, next well, priority. If you have no further business here, then well, we'll right now, there's some there's some uh, pirates on the shore that we promised we'd give a ride home. They kind of helped us. And that's in sign language because Vera knows sign language, so I can say that. <laughs> There's, you could see the shipwreck from when we first, um, you know, showed up and they're sort of living in a shipwreck now and I can't remember any of their names. Can but if anyone check? here remembers their names. Make a history check. I was not oh, here fuck. when we met them, so their names are not in my notebook because I missed that session. <laughs> they're in mine. <laughs> I haven't got my oh. notebook open because I'm snacking. <laughs> Ooh, seven. Ooh. Uh, you just know that the, their captain was called Jackson Keir. Um, Captain Jackson Keir or something, something like that. Um, all right. Well, if they're if they're stuck there, then I'm uh, then sure it's the least we can do. They got, you know. Is it safe to bring the ship a little bird. closer to shore now? Then I don't suppose. Yeah, you or Jacks recognize the name. No, it's first I hear it. So they're not. I will cast Cure Wounds on Davian. I want to be trusting of them, but we probably shouldn't leave them on their own on the ship at any point. Oh, the... Hold on. The town's called Boldville, and I'm sure that has something to do with the ship. I remember the ship was called the, the Bold Venture. Right. The captain's a Goliath. Did they mention how long they've been stuck there by any chance? A little while. I want to say at least a year. Mm. Maybe three years? There's a they ship. were picked up by that big bird that we killed. There's a, a ship that um, went missing a few years ago. Uh, something along that same vein. Could be them. Um, uh, we'll we'll make acquaintances and we'll we'll take him to Eldilon. But as you said, keep an eye on him. And yeah, uh, as we, oh sorry, uh, shoulder sure Kai healed. and uh, Kai, if you could be a deer and get us close to shore. Are you heal for fourteen, uh, Devin. That's max healing. I rolled super fucking good. Nice. I would just say, I oh, yeah, Captain, and he kind of limps towards the. <clears throat> The wheel and uh good, good. It's fucking skirt. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm all handbrake turns uh, the ship. Okay, I'll uh, drift this ship. While <laughs> the ship is being um I'm gonna assume that this is what Jax would do. Because Vera is gonna approach Jax and ask him for the trident. Uh but I don't think there would be any obligation just to give it to her, because that's the whole reason why you were you were all here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that Jax hands over the trident. Yeah. And uh, she puts it away. So if he, even if in he office. didn't, I would pester him until he did anyway. So Yeah. Put it in her office for safekeeping for now. And uh, you arrive off the shore of, uh, of this island. Um, do any of you, like, hop off to go get them? Or... or... Uh, I'll fucking, I'll fucking I, go. Sure. I feel like... None of us are that well acquainted with them, but actually, I can't no. I'm talk to them, still, so, so I'm it. staying here. <laughs> I will wait till we get close. I'll climb down. I'll start fucking marching over to Boldville. Uh, as you arrive, some of the people have already seen the ship and and got very curious. But uh, their their captain or now mayor Jackson Keir approaches. You survived. Good. That's round good. of your shit. Let's go. Fuck this. Let's go. All right, don't have to tell me twice. Men, we're leaving! And everyone just boards the ship and they abandon their makeshift village very fast. They, none of them any, have any intentions of staying. Um, and now that the, their, their, their leader has, has made it clear that he wants to leave, everyone else very quickly follows in his footsteps. Uh, the climb aboard... Um, 
Captain Vera will 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 pull uh, Jackson Kier aside for for a private conversation. Uh, in the meantime, <clears throat> uh, Kai, you turn the ship around and you set off to Aldilon. And you, you, you sail the ship for a few hours, and after that, Vera comes up to you. Right, uh, Kai, I'm, I'm sure you've had a long day and could use some rest, so I'll take over for the night. Uh, I talked to uh, this, this, this Jackson individual, and as a, as a thank you for offering them a way out of the shithole that they lived in, uh, they're going to take over the responsibilities as far as crew goes from you and our, uh, our friends. Uh, as a bit of a, you know, paying us back for, for allowing them to stay on the ship. So you and everyone else can enjoy these next five days to kind of wind down, relax a little bit. I don't know, do some fishing, whatever, drinking, whatever it is you want to do. That sounds good. When we get to Aldilon, I'll be uh, leaving the ship in your capable hands. Uh, I'll leave it to you to go get the rest of the crew. They'll probably be at the muddy boat. And uh, from then on out, for the foreseeable future, the ship is yours to do with whatever you please, so. But. Anything about the ship changes. Mm -hmm. New colors, new decorations. I'll find you. We want to see if you want to, if you want to notice some things. She's like, her, her eyes kind of like start squinting at you. And she just puts one hand on the wheel and kind of just like pushes you off. I kind of takes the hint and he just limps down. Uh, yeah, and the rest of you, if you want, you can uh, relax for a bit. If there's anything you guys want to discuss or talk about before you all hit the hay, mm -hmm. feel free to do just that. Just before we get downtime, I would like take time to write out the journal entry that I posted to World Anvil so it's dated correctly. Before we rest, uh, I will sort of potter with the grief and say, So, I know that we've not really done watches on the ship because we've been amongst allies. I think it would be worth at least one of us being awake, just on the off chance that something happens. I don't want anything to fuck with our return. Sounds good. So, I'll take first watch. I'll take the oh, final I watch. Take, I can take the second watch if needed. I'm getting my ass to bed. I'll I'll start doing watches tomorrow. I need I need to rest. Yeah, there, it's a rough time. Uh, I will, Elasrim will be basically sort of like just checking Davian's <laughs> wounds and shit and just trying to be like, just trying to help any sort of like, the bleeding stopped. It's fucking magic healing, but he's still just gonna be like, that's gonna be rough, that's fucked, that's like, that's gonna be yeah. bruised. Really, like, <laughs> still gonna, like, the max healing for that cure wounds, and I still have like 15 HP, you know, like, I'm, yeah, you're, you're hurting, but, a little rough. Um, yeah, just gonna be sort of patching up, pushing up Davian a little bit. Um, Celeste definitely like looks at you all and she's she's gone through a lot. Um but she also understands that like all of you went through a lot of shit. Um <clears throat> and she'll open her bag and puts gets like a very small bottle of, of, of alcohol out. Uh I was saving this for a special occasion and I feel like this, you know, celebrating that we're all alive. And well, we're all alive, and she kind of like looks at Davian. Um, so this seems as much of a special occasion as, as ever. Uh, this is this is uh, a drink that you know my people tend to uh, enjoy on you know holidays and and whatnot. And and it's like it's a small like like half liter bottle, if that. And it's it's like a stained like a stained glass kind of kind of bottle so there's like a lot of greens and reds and yellows that kind of decorate not really in a pattern just kind of very random and all over the place yeah um and it's sealed with a cork but the cork itself has been um kind of enchanted in a way for it to kind of like has like this like this like um this like milky way type effect kind of surrounding it like very 
very much as if you're looking at looking mm -hmm. up at the sky in like a very clear night in, in areas where there's not much pollution. And she kind of uncorks it and um, gets out a few shot glasses and pours pours one for everyone. And the liquid that comes out, it's it's literally as if you're looking up at the sky. Like it's it's the, the liquid looks like stars in liquid form. Might give it a try. Give it a little tingle in your tongue, and you feel it kind of tingle it on its way down. But it's uh, it's it's quite pleasant. And she'll as soon as she handed everyone a shot, she's fucking next it. I'll drink it. Heck yeah. Time to knock it back. Not gonna say no to drink. It tastes. Will... Uh, it's. It, you can definitely feel the, the the burn of the alcohol. Like this tastes. This, the alcohol experience is like. This is some like homemade moonshine kind of vibe. Like it's very strong, very, right. very, very warm. Um, but it tastes very fruity, very sweet. Um, you notice that it, it kind of like, even though in the glass it didn't really look like it was it was fizzy. It it has like a fizz to it as it kind of goes down, which is probably the tingle that that F she talked about. But it's, it's quite pleasant. I, I will put like mine to our lips, but then I'll actually drink it and kind of put it down quite quickly. Kind sort of semi hyper the class. <clears throat> uh, wait. She'll look at you, but it doesn't question it. If I notice a Lazarin doesn't drink it, I'll drink his. Fair enough. I will. I'm just like sitting. I, I where, where are we right now? Are we down in the hold? Down in the hold, yeah. That one of the yeah, tables, okay. just like uh, in the. I still think she's on the deck, and I was just like. Get not getting shots, but I'm just like I'm fucked. Mm. I'm fucked. All right. Uh, as much as I would enjoy, uh, you know, talking, I'm exhausted, and I could really use some sleep. So we'll use the next few days to hang out and have some fun. But for now, I think good night's rest is what we all need. Hmm. Well, uh, before you before you go anywhere, and I'll rummage into my backpack and pull out the. Uh, Shit, what's it called? Yeah, Restores an ointment, like the jar. It's, uh, well, you know, I've got help, so this might serve you more good than me over the next few days, and I'll throw the jar of uh, restorative ointment. She's like, Thank should you. be a couple more doses in there. Are you sure you don't need it? No, I've got a lash in here, you know. Fair enough. Um, I meant to ask, by the way, um, since I'm, I'll be disembarking in, in Eldilon, do you have a, a tavern you recommend for me to get a room at? Um, me? Um, no, all of you. Well, Just, do you stay any any place together, or do you all kind of go your separate ways? If you so, Weeping Mug is probably my preference, but yeah, Brooks is probably more your man. If you want to spend money. And be pampered, then elegant carafe. If you want somewhere that's gonna look after you and not cost the fucking world, then go to the friendly giant. Tell him you know Brooks. The friendly friendly giant's nicer in the weeping mug, but not crazy expensive. Yeah, but it's also a brothel in the weeping mug, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you you see, you might stay, or... It just depends on your sensibility. We, we, yeah. we vary where we stay, but I stayed there for a long time. They know who I am. They'll they'll look after you. Okay, thank you. Sounds good. And um, you know, maybe uh, over the next few days, when when we get held along, we can uh, talk about this uh, this constellation thing. See if I can. You know, I could always use some help trying to figure out. Uh, I know that some of you may. Have some connections in the city that I don't, that might know more. So, you know, if you guys have any pointers, well, uh, I would, they would be very much appreciated. And she uh, kind of just waves her one good night and retreats to her chamber. Which, uh, if all of you want to do the same, find a hammock to lay in for the night and uh, get your long rests in. You very much can. You deserve it, and uh, this is where, you know, your level ups will 
properly kick in after this long rest. Does um, does the Lazarin hide that he doesn't do the shot, or is he just? Well, like diving I mean, fucking like. Well, yeah, then I, was in, yeah. I I try to sort of hide it, but not like really. It's the sort of do the motions, but then just you just. Say and my out. passive it's perception's me. pretty decent, so I figure I'm just like. Okay. Nope. <laughs> just swipes it. I wait until he's getting ready for bed, and I'll just pass him a bottle of the expensive. I was passing the expensive red wine I bought. Yeah. I'll sort of like I'll I'll take it and look at it and again just sort of place it to the side of me. Actually, no, I'll, I'll place it in my bag. Place Excuse my me. Bag. That's it. I just walk away after that. I'm gonna take first watch. Okay. Um... I would like to take a mug to the crow's nest and okay. Drink some fucking shit beer from my alchemy, alchemy jug. jug or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Is there someone else up there now that we've been relieved? Um. Hey, Debbie, nah. like if there is, I'll relieve him. It's like I'll just go yeah, up. Yeah, there'll, there'll be one of the like... people that uh, you uh, saved from from the islands will be there. But you know, as soon as you were, you're like, yeah, it's okay. I'll I'll sit here for a bit. He try. doesn't he doesn't uh, question you. He just climbs down. No Onu. <laughs> no. Just up there oh, leaning on the railing. No um, Onu. First things no. first. No Brooks, obviously, your watch goes by. Very chill. There's not much uh, that really demands your attention. The, I'm just going to sit and practice magic tricks with my cards. The crewmates that uh, you recruited from the island seem to do their jobs. Like they, they're all, exp they're, they're all experienced. They, they're a bit rusty after three years of being, you know, stranded. But uh, it's like riding a bike. They never really unlearn it. So they very easily, very naturally fall into their habits, depending on what station they were put on. Um. And as everyone eventually, unless there's something that they want to do before they fall asleep? Uh, yes. Um, one? As I said, I wanted to do the second watch. So whenever mm -hmm. Kai gets waking up and he does his watch, he will find a little bit of a quiet place. Yeah. Um, and he will... Um, Cast um, healing spirit. Um, so we're like right next to him. Um, a shape appears, which um, just for flavor, I would like to look a little bit like a um, like a gnome. Okay. And uh, Kai will just sit there. All healing a little bit, but that's a thing. And just talk to the figure that just appeared about what happened, about the, his journey with the group so far. Um, okay. And you, you just just talks about how short life can be, and how how rapidly things can go if you're not careful enough. And uh, and at the end of of his watch, he will just let uh, the thing disappear. And uh, he would just say, uh, thanks, Indiri, and then goes back to sleep. Oh, that's so wholesome. <laughs> okay. Anyone so else? Cute. Anyone wants to do anything? On... Yeah. Just, just write that journal entry. Okay. And if anyone's near me when I'm writing it, <clears throat> you would see me occasionally, like, like very raspy chuckle to myself while writing it. Like, you know, when someone's like laughing at their own jokes, like, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, like, you'd see <laughs> that. <laughs> um, okay. Then I would like everyone to deafen except for Quiba, please. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> shit. Real quick, before this deafen, yeah. uh, Davian doesn't go to bed. Davian doesn't go to bed? Okay. No. Good to know. <clears throat> Elazarin. Sleep comes to you quite easily as you... Oh, what the fuck just happened? Outside. Sleep comes to you quite easily. Uh, it's been a long day. You've, you're have you tapped out of pretty much every resource you've had, uh, you had ready for the day. <sighs> Brought back one of your friends from, uh, from death. Which takes a toll. It's exhausting. So there comes to no surprise that as soon as you lay down in your hammock, you just... Pff, your, your lights go out. You're, you're, you're asleep. But during your sleep, you suddenly wake up. But you're not in the hammock. You're in a bed. In a 
pretty fancy room, big bed, a room you recognize. Uh, your room in your childhood home before you got given to the church. You leave the room and you look around and you can see that you are in, in your family's estate. A uh, big painting in the upstairs hallway, a uh, big family portrait of your parents, you, your siblings, uh, all looking very... Uh, and you can see, and, and you notice that your pers perspective, um, you're definitely a little lower to the floor. Um, and as you kind of walk around, uh, the, you, you are dreaming, and it's not quite lucid, but it's kind of that weird, like, in-between lucid dreaming and normal dreaming state, where every once in yeah. a while you get, like, a, a wave of, wait, this is this is wrong, this is weird, this, is, this yeah. isn't... But not quite enough to shake you, if that makes sense. You walk downstairs and you see your, you know, the servants that work at the at the estate walking around the place, cleaning it up. And you hear noises coming from the dining room. And as you approach the dining room, you can see at this large dining table, your entire family's there. Not just your parents and your siblings, but also, you know, uh, aunts, uncles, grandparents. The entire family is sat in this rather sizable chamber at this very big table. And they all look at you, and some of them wave at you, and they slowly begin to turn to stone, one by one. Just... <laughs> Eyes replaced with gemstones, and uh, the room around you begins to turn into just all the walls, all the furniture, all begin to turn to stone. As the wind starts sweeping in from the doorway behind you, you can see some of the, like, dirt and sand kind of through the room. You turn around, and in the door you see this hulking shape of this large humanoid, but completely made of rock and gemstone. The same figure you saw briefly when you resurrected Davian. You do not speak the language it's speaking to you. So to you, when he opens his mouth, all you hear is the sound of ground shaking. If earthquakes had a proper sound that you could, like, kind of, sort of understand, like, earthquake sounds, which you know what I mean. Like, there's just yeah. earth rock shaking rock. and rock on rock. Um, but you don't understand what he's saying. And this goes on for a few minutes, and then you suddenly, in the middle of the night... <gasps> Wake up in your hammock. You look around, you see your friends all asleep, some of the crewmates asleep. But there is a piece of paper on your, on your, like, chest. And on it, there is just the word override written in your handwriting. You can see that there is a pencil in your hammock with you. You look at the handwriting and it, it is 100% your handwriting. I will, when I wake up, who do I see is on watch? Um, well, nobody in your, you, you notice, I guess you notice that uh, this would be during Kai's watch, so Kai is missing, okay. Kai is not in the room with okay. you. Okay, okay. That's sort of fine. Just, I'm and I guess seeing... Davian also wouldn't be in the room because Davian yeah. is... I'm just sort of looking to see basically if anyone's awake or in the room with me. Make a perception check. Okay. Oh god, that I, I hate that. I hate that one to... Oh, uh, that's bad. But what the fuck is such thirteen? As far as you can tell, the only sound you hear is the snoring of your fellow party members and crewmates alike. You don't see or hear anyone that's awake. I will look at the bit of paper. Can I? see that obviously the pence as well does it seem like still like warm to the touch like i've just let go of it or yeah it's it's, it's got that like you know it still has some of your residual like body yeah. uh heat yeah i can't look at it and i will put i'm just gonna write over right again myself mm -hmm. just in the same way it's written there and just see if anything happens no. I will fold up the bit of paper and put it in my bag. 
I'll put it in the big book that I have. The one that with old the way book. too big, like golden. Yeah, way yeah. too big. Yeah, the fucking massive borrowed knowledge book. And I'll okay. just kind of slit it into one of the pages there and try and make it look as flat to it as I can um, and put it away. Okay. Um, and just sort of try to go to sleep again, but know that rest probably doesn't come easy and know that I probably will never settle. Yeah, eventually you do fall back asleep. Um, no more weird dreams, just rest of the night passes by you wake up you know rested the next morning but a bit a bit weirded out yeah. right uh so uh this is a quick one because i want to i want everyone to deafen besides davian next okay Hi, bye. Oh. Hi, bye. <laughs> Hi, bye. But I'm not going to bed. I know, I know, no. I know, I know. I know. <clears throat> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so you're sitting in the crow's nest? Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah. Yes and no. It's okay. Davian's, Davian's restless, right? Mm -hmm. Sitting in the crow's nest has a few beers. And then it's like one of those kind of writing an angry letter, throwing it away type moments where he's taking the tears of Kosuth off from around his neck mm -hmm. and he's like holding him and like l looking out to the sea and like feigning throwing them but like not really and like just like holding him in his hand and like slamming his hand on the railing of the crow's nest and then when when it's late late and there's not really anyone around kind of just climbs down from the crow's nest and leans over the edge of the ship and like dangles the tears on the chain over the edge of the ship and just kind of like stares into the dark when water you, just when you do that running the chain through his fingers as you're kind of like dangling the the chain with the tears over the over the face of the water, it's your voice in your head. Something you want to say? Hmm. <laughs> Not out loud. You can think it. I can listen. Yeah, that makes it worse. We have problems. I don't know about problems. I don't know. And why is it you've been debating chopping my tears away for the past few hours? Well, I could let them go. I do wonder what would happen if they'd come back. If I'd lose the power. If I'd hear anything in my, in my head again for a while after that. Besides, seems like there was a good long while that you... Been fairly happy to let me go, drift into the astral sea, as I might let these tears drift into the actual sea. What makes you draw that conclusion? I was dead. Not anymore. No thanks to you. Are you upset? That you didn't see me welcome you into the realm of death? Like, what is this? I don't know if I'm upset, necessarily. I just wonder... I just wonder... You, it just makes you think, you know? What might... You know, what might change? If I were to die, what would change for you? Not a lot. So if I were to let the tears go, what would change for me? I mean, really, it seems 
so inconsequential. Mortis. I don't know. Feel appreciated, is that what this is? For a little bit of a tantrum? Have you ever almost died? Several times, yeah. What did you see? Nothing. Scary, isn't it? Comes time for us all. Let's make your peace with heaven. Yeah, you I'm getting it. All right, whatever you'll be. I don't really understand what you expect from me. This is not a bond made of devotion. This is a working relationship, right? I... Well, if it's a working relationship, I'm feeling rather underpaid. Excuse me? That's it, really, isn't it? I mean, I got this fucking thing. Mm -hmm. And I almost fucking died trying to get it. And barely even weeks down the line, I'm, I'm, I did, I died. I died. I was dead. So, what's it all for? Which are here. Why? Why not? Right. Yeah. Listen to me. And I'm sure you're very happy about that. Listen to me. I'm only going to say this once. Yeah? No powers. It's not something that will make you... Uh, certainly at this stage, make you invincible. But they grow over time. You need a little bit of patience. That's just the way it's going to be. I'm not a god. I cannot bestow upon you levels of power of of the... I don't really know what you expect. You're in this partnership with me. Because I have some things I need you to do for me. And in exchange, over time, you grow more and more powerful as you go on your day to day, day. Yes? Your death would have been quite unfortunate and very... What's the word? Very... Don't say inconvenient. Oh, that too. But... It would be a waste. Because you have potential. Potential I need. And potential to do a lot of good. So... Your friend and saved you. You are not dead. It got close. But you're here. You can't... You get cold feet, is that it? No. Cold feet about what? I'm not even really sure what my purpose is here. No questions, but one, actually. Mm -hmm. What would happen if I dropped the necklace? Uh, just, I feel like our bond surely is... It'll just like I thought as much. I thought as much. But... I suppose a bit more transparency for the sake of our relationship be in order. <clears throat> I need you to be my representative, same as S is a representative plane of air in this realm. A diplomat, if you will. Of sorts, 
a diplomat stands as one Ambassador. Well, just a diplomat in the sense of, you know, we don't want to listen to you talking and maybe violence. But with that, there is something else. The reason you popped up on my... I, the reason I learned of your existence to begin with. Um, you ever see a white chalice before? What? There's a chalice that's... Well, we need the other one precise. You had a vision before, correct? Years ago. Yeah. What did you see? Yeah. In the vision? Mm -hmm. A volcano, presumably the one that I was camping at the foot of at the time. Mm -hmm. Anything else? A maze, <laughs> labyrinth, or something like that. Tunnels, smooth stone, and a lot of fire. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's all. An altar in a room. Coming back, good. What else? Uh, again, just fire and and. Like a crucible cup. Mm -hmm. With a flame in it. And it looks like this. And you. He kind of like makes an image appear uh, in your head. Image of a, a large goblet or chalice. Um, but this time you get more details. You there, Don't there, call it a goblet because then the oh, goblet of right, fire and right, it becomes chalice. a hurry. We'll go with chalice. We'll go with chalice. Uh, a chalice. <laughs> Say, just, we'll go crucible. We'll crucible. Go crucible. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Um, it's a better word. It's a fiery word. And decorated, engraved with a bunch of flames. But now you also see more detail than you saw in your initial vision. You see what seems like the skyline of a city. One detail in particular that really stands out to you is these tall golden spires with high flying walkways. Let's just say that this All connects to why your, your friends also seem very connected to the elements. This is merely you are to the plane of fire, what Kessler is to the plane of air, and what well, the lands remind me to the plane of earth if uh, speculation rumors are correct. The city you see. Engraved city of brass in the elements of the fire. There'll come a day where, if this adventure you own is going the way I foresee it going, you'll be asked to travel to the city of brass. You and your friends. And while you're there, You'll have an opportunity to do a little 
extracurricular activities for me to unlock your full potential. And when you do, well, let's just say that you're going to be a lot harder to kill. So is that problem. That's all I can share now. But I hope this gives you a bit more... A bit more... Um, Purpose? Calms you down a bit. You see quite on edge. I, I feel like anyone in my shoes has the right to be at least a little on edge, but... Sure, but... Try and, you know... If you're considering trying to see if you can get away from it all, I throw away my tears after the first... Dance with death. Don't say that like it's going to happen again. Don't say that like I should get used to fucking literally dying. All right? No, no, I no can... it's, it's, it's not something that... In this line of work... It's... It's always a possibility. Is it not? Now you fought... Uh, a particularly dangerous foe. You know, fighting Adelettes and... and armies of, of yuan or, or whatever it may be, big blood apes in the jungle. Oh, lethal. I beat the shit. I beat the shit out of that fucking avatar of unbelief. You did. And you're still here. Let's not focus on the yeah, well. my dying parts, but... You are only as strong as you surround yourself with, and the strength of one of your friends made it so that you can act from them. We'll see if I make it. We'll see if I make it another month. <laughs> I admire your positive outlook. Being else? realistic, I suppose. Anything else you'd like to know? Or I, uh... Not now. You're positive these will find their way back to me? Yeah. And I just spin the fucking chain like a sling as hard as I fucking can and just fuck off! Into the sea. Just into the sea. And then I... I Go to my hammock, and I go to fucking sleep. Uh, you go to bed, and as you go lay down, before sleep takes you, you already you already feel the familiar warmth of the tears of Kasuth around your neck. <clears throat> you go to bed. Bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. Bom, 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 bom. Well, nothing, nothing quite looking up and just being like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, so well, sleeps soundly through oh. the night, I imagine. Oh yeah. When he finally goes to sleep, yeah, he does. And oh. that's probably some point into the early afternoon. I will go and wake up Kai for a second watch. Yeah, so Kai does that, he does his little... Um... Yeah, we've already gone through that. Um, those that do a watch, you, you, you do your watch, nothing much to report, really. <laughs> uh, and you... At least not tonight. Wake up for the day. Um, thinking. I don't like that. That's scary. Kes, <laughs> your statue was put in your uh, vessel, correct? If I remember correctly? Yes. Yeah. Um, I flew. WD, WD. What is Kess's... Well, hmm. Without having to deafen everyone again, um... Oh, no, I think I'm gonna have to have everyone to, to deafen again. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bye, pockets! 
You're not fucking sorry. Jewelry <laughs> made. Kes. Yes. Obviously, you are very unaware of what the hell's going on. No clue. Your com complete consciousness gone. But you are kind of. I don't know. In your mind, you are constantly reliving certain parts of your life. Parts that perhaps you regret or things that you wish would have gone differently. Um. There's this one instance where you see yourself growing up in the community, in the Feywild. Your mother, the fellow children. Um, but the thing that you see the most is the countless times your mother tried to hide what you truly were from the rest of the village. Constantly making you look different. There's this one instance where... Um, there was this big celebration, this, this, this celebration in, in the town, and you wanted to go because all the other children were going and you, you thought it was going to be fun, but you weren't allowed to. You couldn't. Um, a lot of that kind of just plagues Kess's mind. And there's this one instance where you feel as if you're suddenly in control of yourself in that time. So your perspective, a lot lower to the ground, because you're a lot smaller. <laughs> and yeah. you kind of feel the ability to control yourself as your mother is kind of standing in front of you in your room. And looks at you. Now, I don't think it's a good idea for you to head out into the village. I, 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 I don't have the resources to disguise you anymore for today, and, and it's... I... I can't. What do you do? Do I have to stay alone? Uh, anyone that would normally watch you is busy. I... just... stay in your room. I'll be back in a few hours. And she leaves. Before you even have a chance to react, she just leaves, locks the door. What do you do? Um. Hmm. What's around me? Whatever small cast would have in her uh, in her room. Very little. <laughs> like you know, maybe maybe the you know your bed. Um. Mm. Some like. Things that were written down for you, uh, whether it was like the teachings or, 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 or you know, a, a, a book that was read to you by, uh, by someone. Uh, Cass have like a little. Uh, did Cass have toys by any description? Yeah, yeah, she, she had. She so, had yeah, so, so her toys will, will be there. There's no windows. Um, is it something I can use to try and like? pick the lock make a perception check okay. um that's pretty good a dirty 20 30 20 yeah Yeah, there is. You find some like a hairpin, like a hairpin uh, that maybe maybe yours, maybe your mother's. You're not sure, but you kind of just like get up, get get up on your toes and try and like pick the lock and manage to pick it open. Aww. I'm gonna sneak out towards. Um... Like the 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 central hub of the the cliff face mm -hmm. thing, okay. um, and try and sneak outside. Make a stealth check. Ooh. And then I get plus four. Well, that's 
15, 17. 17? Yeah. You manage to sneak out and you begin to kind of lose control as you now once again are a passenger and you can see your young self kind of sneaking out of the village proper to like the edge where there's a, there's a forest nearby. And in this forest, there's this cliff face that you climbed up. And you're pretty, you're, you're tall, uh, you know, you're, you're high up and down the cliff face, there's just this, this, this fast storming river. It's just going downstream. And suddenly you feel a hand on your shoulder. And you look up and you see blue. And you kind of regain control again and blue looks at you. You do it out here all on your own. Just watching. Are you? Want to take a little closer of a look? Yeah. What did you say? Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> and Blue looks at you. You can see for the first time ever menace in his eyes as he pushes you and small cast just starts falling down the cliff face and right before you smack into the ground nothing and that's it for now oh bastard <clears throat> hey. hello 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 i'm here hello hello <laughs> Is there anything that you lot uh, want to do throughout your next few days of just traveling home, traveling to Eldilon? There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of things. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to um, first, Daigon has the uh, necklace. Like, Kess's necklace, right? That's the thing on yes. that. And I'll sort of... I can't remember what they said... Can I bring Kess back out and then back in again, or...? I nod, yes. Yeah. It's something I want to try, but I'm not 100% sure if it will work or not. Well, you were told, Blue can, you can. Yeah, we can't. Like, but you can yell into it and be like, hey, hey, Blue, yeah. can, can we... Yeah, that's, 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 that's what minute. I meant. Like, like, we were told that, like, Blue, yeah. Blue's a bell. Yeah, yeah. so as, as you as Elastin said, I just hold the necklace, like, yeah. up to his that's mouth. So, I was like, Blue, I want to... <laughs> try something i don't know if it's going to work or not so if you don't want to risk it and then it's fine but out of the out of the um the vessel there's this blue ginny appears uh what are you going to try i don't know this isn't a curse or anything is it or is it a state not too sure really um I can maybe try to remove it. If it's got a curse, I can maybe try to remove the curse. But if it's not, then it won't have any effect. It's worth a shot, I suppose. And uh, he goes back into the vessel and comes out with statue cast. I will hold up my uh, symbol of Joaquin and so like put it to the thick four kiss like forehead. Mm -hmm. And I will cast Remove Curse and see if anything happens. Nothing happens. And Blue looks at you. Damn. It's a shame. Worth a shot, though, I suppose. Yes. Well. I thought it wouldn't, but it's always worth a try. Sometimes the simple answer is the correct one. Not this time. You miss all the shots you don't take. Yes. Yeah. I will then cast Sending uh, to Father Ackle. Okay. Um, Kess has, has turned to stone. We are a few days away. If you know any rights to help turn her back. You have five words. them. What was the last bit? Please prepare them. You can reply, 23 right? 23 out of 25. Yep, yeah, we can reply. I can help. 
In the meantime, when you get here, we should also talk. Oh, <laughs> that's ominous. I'm like, well, Father Arkle says he's going to help. That's that's a bonus, I suppose. Okay, this is fine. And that is all I want to do. <laughs> yeah, blue, blue takes cast and, and goes back into the vessel. Uh, anything else anyone has that they want to do before their uh, boat journey comes to an end? Uh, yes. Um, Go on, son. How fast is the boat going? Was it, was it like 50? Oh, wait, let me quickly whip up its stats. Hold on. Sailing oh. ship. Has a movement speed of uh, 5 miles per hour. So 120 miles a day. Okay. I think we did the math of it being like 40 odd feet like, per, per like 6 seconds or whatever the fuck is what it, what it travels at or some shit like that. Okay. Um, in that case, Kai walks to the, the guy that's the person that's behind the wheel right now. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's gonna be Captain uh, Captain Jackson Keir, and the the tall Goliath. And then just be like, "Would you mind slowing down the vessel just for a little bit?" Uh, uh, just, sure. Uh, how long? I will. I will be back in no time. All right. And as the boat slows down, Kai is gonna walk to the edge, and he jumps in the water while turning into uh, a reef shark. Okay. Fun, fun. Um, I would like to dive as low as I can to find some corals and take some pieces of coral with me. To get uh on. fuck make a uh, blah, 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 make a survival check fuck it or nature if that's something you're better at i don't know if there's a stat difference there oh well, that's gonna be survival because that's plus eight okay. that's 18. yeah you find some like coral reefs deep down under the water with various colors and shapes and sizes that you can uh oh. harvest okay like some to get some some blue coral, some red coral, coral. and some yellow coral, and okay. then just try to get it all well in my in my mouth, and then swim back up and try to jump back on the ship. Yeah, sure, no problem. And then transform back into Kai, pulling some coral, and he's gonna spend the the the, the trip uh, doing some carving. Okay, cool. Oh, and uh, Soko noted that Jax would just be doing some tinkering on the ship and attuning to the claw of the worm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the and it, whenever found. Jax would be tinkering, I'd just be kind of there watching. Cause he, he's let me watch before because I find it intriguing whenever he's doing artificery things. So Absolutely. otherwise, I'd just be kind of like hanging around. But whenever he's doing that, I'd be where Jax is probably. Yeah. Uh, is there anything Davian wants to do on the next over the next few days? Um, I think at low key, I do want to spend some time. I mean, I know it doesn't need a tuning, a tuning or anything, but mm -hmm. like, just f sort of figuring out High Castle's Cutlass. Okay. Um. Good. Yeah, like. Yeah, I guess like practicing with it and sparring with it, and how long? Um, uh, where, is that the fuck? That's the thing you found in his like tomb, right? Yeah, like, it's just like a, yeah, a yeah, plus okay, okay. one long sword. Yeah, wish it uh, was a long sword. Yeah, a bit, um, okay. hmm. just kind of practicing with it, just kind of getting a better feel for yeah, it. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, other than that. Anything. Yeah, I mean, I, it's not. I'm I'm proficient with long swords and all that stuff, so it's just like you know. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm doing, not really doing, a sword fighter, training. so yeah. Uh, I probably shadow Jacks a little bit when he's doing uh, navigatory things, because mm -hmm. still want to get better at that. 
and stay busy pretty much you know whatever um... he's doing rather than sitting in the crow's nest also resummon ono is about of course oh, oh yeah him back. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he yeah. uh yeah like the, the, you summon him back and he just kind of in his uh, stork form, kind of like waddles over to you and just puts his head like against your, your I guess like how like your side I guess is where with like side heights yeah. maybe, and it's kind of like yeah, really like, really like, you know, very yeah, happy to I be back. I give him a pet and a bow and uh, I I don't use speak with animals, but I just sort of I I just sort of tr you know try to be reassuring and tell him like well we we both died for a little bit there. But uh, we're both back, and uh, yeah, I'll just stay busy. W whatever people need help with, and uh, at some point, other than that, yeah. like say the second or third day, Celeste will approach you and kind of trying to see if, if she can catch you alone. You okay? Well, you know, as okay as one can be after dying for. A... I don't really know how long I was dead. Um, not to share either. I was kind of out cold myself. I, I don't suppose I could have the jar back, by the way, when you of the the ointment. Oh yeah, of course. And um, she didn't right. use it. Oh, I just figured. You sure, you don't need it. Nah, nah, nah. You're, you're good. You're good. Uh, well, I right. figured you guys end up in a lot more danger than I do on a daily basis, so I figured it might be better in your hands. Yeah, I don't... Well, I don't know we expected to run into trouble, but I don't think anyone intended for... for anyone to get as hurt as badly as they did. No, not really, Sorry but... Sorry about that. I mean... And, and note, we all... We're all alive at this current point in time, and we got what we came for, so, I mean, you know... Yeah, just, I suppose, dealing with the scars of, well, all the scars, but the, the mental and physical scars at this point, that whole ordeal, we'll see if it turns out to be worth it. I, I'm, I, well, I mean, you, you know, when we get back to Eldilon. Uh, never been to Eldilon before, so I could use a bit of a guide. Yeah, I was just, I was about to ask if you were... Uh, you know, need a place to sort of get a drink or something like that, you know, we're more than accommodating and, mm -hmm. you know, we, we we do know how to have fun as much as we know how to get hurt, so. I don't doubt that. You, uh, yeah. some of your friends... Sometimes it's a bit yeah. of both. I mean... Sure. Um, bike clubs and all that. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind having somebody to show me around and, you know, you seem quite... This is a really lame excuse to try and see if you want to just spend some time together in Eldilon, really. I'm going to be honest. Well, right, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, I, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Good. But, yeah. I mean, oh, when, we, way, when um, we're back on dry land. Do you happen to know anyone in Eldilon that might know a little bit more about stars and shit? Stars and shit. Because I, um, I'm at my wit's end, and I got really use like, an educated... Well, I advice. do know a man who does maps. And I know maps aren't stars, but star charts are. And I don't know if he does star charts, but if he does, then he might have an idea about the constellation that we're dealing with. Maybe? It's, it's, it, I know it's a stab in the dark, but maybe he knows someone who knows someone, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll take anything at this point. Just, just a fresh set of eyes that are a little more educated than, you know, myself and you lot. Well, might not seem it, but some are a little more educated than others. Well, I mean, I'm educated on the on this particular subject, I mean. Yeah, right, right. Although I don't know how educated you can get on the subject of a moving constellation, but probably someone, maybe. Well, the more you know about constellations, the more you know about the ones that aren't supposed to be there, right? I suppose so. People okay. have studied the stars for years. That is true. Okay. Good. Um, it's worth looking into. I don't know if they have an observatory, but, you know, maybe. Maybe, uh, like, like you said, maybe they'll know someone that knows someone. 
it's just I've, right. been, I've been I've been keeping an eye on it, and it's it's still doing its thing. You know, it's still just moving around. The fact that I don't know what it is and what it's doing is really annoying. There must be an, I mean, given the type of people that you've come across in a city like Eldalon, I can't imagine you're the only person on the continent who's taken interest in a constellation that moves. Oh, no, it's probably not. It's we'll just... find somebody. Hopefully. All right, I'll leave you to it. Anyway. Um, yeah, just yeah. if you need me for anything, just, uh, you, you know, you know where I stay. Yeah, right. All right. Over the next few days, um, travel to specifically to keep track of the date. Yeah, well, we're we're doing this kind of. Um, <laughs> if there's anything else that you guys want to do, you can. But um, I would like another quick deafen so I can talk to Bell. Okay. Now. Idiot. Why does Bell get two? It's boom. Whenever we make land, just tell us how many days have passed so we can keep track of the in-game date. Mm -hmm. I think it's a five-day journey, right? It is. All right, Kess. Yeah, that's me. No idea how much time has passed since your last kind of vision. Um... You this time find yourself a bit older, no longer in the Feywild. You're walking the bazaar in Kalzir. Walking around uh, the bazaar, the marketplace, going past, uh, having just left a shop owned by this, this, this grandiose individual uh, selling all kinds of trinkets and, and a wealthy man, you would assume. You're accompanied by Egan. You're walking around Kalzir, kind of communicating with each other in your, uh, you know, in 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 the sign language. Um, and you had just accepted uh, a, a a paid job, an escort. You're supposed to bring someone to, to, to a port town, not too far from Kalzir. You're kind of shopping for the, uh, you know, the necessities, the, um, you know, things you will need on your travel, and that sort of thing. And you and Daigon decide that uh, you're going to go for a drink in one of the taverns in Kalzir. Um... And you're at this particular tavern. You do not recall the name, but uh, there's, a, there's, a few, there's a few patrons in there. Some of them very loud and obnoxiously drunk. You know, it's that time of night where uh, a lot of the people that have the work the next day have already fucked off, but they stayed behind. Um, and you suddenly have another moment where you where you gain control. You're with Daigon in the tavern, having some drinks. Daigon just kind of signing to you about, uh, you know, oh, do you think we're ready for the job? Um, this, uh, this, th th this Ashbridge individual seems kind of important. Do you reckon it's going to be trouble? That sort of thing. What do you do? You, you find yourself kind of in control of the situation now. Um, you look around and you still see a couple of people at a table in the corner. Dagon looking at you in your eyes, you know, as she's signing to you. Anything you want Nothing to do? Nothing seems to be... There doesn't seem to be any kind of threat nearby. No. 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 She's just very panically kind of, like, looking around. Very on yeah. edge. And this is, like... You don't entirely feel like this is... The, you don't feel like this is out of place. But you also don't feel like this is right. It's, it's this weird, confused feeling yeah. of wait, have a, like a deja vu mixed with a like misremembering something. Like you feel like you've been, done this before, but you also feel like this is not exactly how things went. You know what I mean? Mm. It's it's weird. Yeah. It's kind of like in between that. 
there anything you want to do? Um. No, she's just kind of scanning around and like, you know, like kind of leaning out and like looking out windows and stuff. Okay. Fidgeting. Uh, make a perception check. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, perception. Um, uh, 22. 22? Yeah. You look around the room, and suddenly you look back to Daigon, just in time to see her. As she, as she plants a very long dagger in your chest. You can feel the stinging pain in your chest, blood starting to run down. And Daigon is looking you menacingly in the eyes, the same menace you remember seeing in Blue's eyes when he pushed you off the cliff. And as you begin to collapse from your stool at the bar, right before you hit the ground, that's it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. <coughs> Scale of one to traumatized. <laughs> you look real happy, Belle, I have to great. say. I do great. My cat refuses to like... about it. <clears throat> All right. She is living under my desk. Um, the next few days, you travel to Eldilon, goes... Goes alright. Very, very easy few days. And then... Oh, the whole time we're traveling, if I'm not with Jax, I'm just being that, like, weird, creepy, awkward person who's just, like, picks a new person every day and just kind of, like, follows them around, like, watches over their shoulder, like, what you doing? But can't actually <laughs> say what you doing. So I'm just, like, around, just watching people. Just being <laughs> weird. Because I can't converse with anyone. <laughs> if Daigon oh, follows Brook around, Brook <laughs> will, one, ask Daigon to teach him to some more sign language. And two, we'll ask Diagon if she wants to learn how to do magic tricks with cats. Hell yeah, I'll learn how to do magic tricks. Oh god. Okay. So a trade off. I teach you signing, you teach me magic. How many words do I learn, Mr. Dear? I mean, how long? And Like, is this a one-day a one day thing, or is this something... As long as Diagon is willing to teach. Well, we probably do, like, a little bit each day, because I'm, I'm bored now. <laughs> Fair. Of a friend. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll and let I'm you say you can either choose for the next three days. You can either choose to learn three words or one coherent phrase per day. Per day? Yeah. I will let Dagon teach what, rather... what she teaches me. Cool. For three days, Dagon can teach me whatever she wants. Yep. I'll have, have fun with that, Laura. <laughs> gonna have a think and I'll DM you what they they're probably one of them's gonna be something lewd, and the other ones I'll decide if I make it useful or just stupid. <laughs> Fair. <way>. Um <laughs> I'm gonna teach Dagon some card tricks. Uh mostly around misdirection. Oh. Um, so what was it three three words that he gets three, three words, words or one or, phrase? Or one coherent phrase. Okay. Time three. Okay. Yeah, so times three. What a what a what a great cultural exchange! Like, I'll <laughs> teach you a language to communicate with me and others that are hard of hearing people, and I'll teach you how to be the most disliked person at the party. <laughs> yeah, that's great. At one I mean... point, he's teaching me to do magic tricks. I'm gonna just write down like, "Hey, look, I can do. I can. I I came up with a new one. Watch this, and just like write that on my journal I use for talking to people. Um, and I'm gonna take the card." And do a thing where, um, have you taught me to do a thing where you can, like, you wave the card and then you go like this and the card, like, disappears? If I get like, asked to be taught that, Brooks will teach Normally that. it goes in a sleeve, but I don't really wear sleeves. But I don't know. We'll figure I mean, it out. I mean, one of the uh, one of the early things that Brooke would teach Dragon is how to yeah. hide a card behind your okay. hand. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I, I do that. But I'm waving the card like kind of back and forth in front of my face, and then as I wave the card across my face and hide the card, I sim you'll you'll simultaneously see as my hand passes. Um, black spectral panther fur start to cover my face. The the hole in my ear fills out. My eyes become the same color. The scar goes away. So basically just like 
a symmetrical, even, black furred panther face. And then I go like, eh? Well, it's pretty cool, right? I was mm. right. She summons spectral fur. <laughs> spectral I furry. I thought this was Koiba's ability. <laughs> <laughs> but funny! That's a lot oh, he's a scaly. Yeah. I'm not I'm not sure if that's impressive or terrifying, but I like the flyer in presentation. Very well done. I write back, I mean it's way less terrifying than my regular face. So I think it's I think it's cool. I don't think your regular face is terrifying. As he says that, I immediately drop back. So again, the scar comes back, the wrinkles come back, my ear has a hole in it, the resting frown, and I give him a like a really kind of look. I don't think I would have ever thought you were terrifying unless you were trying to be. No. But then I'm back. a very well, weird judge nice. of character, so. <laughs> Just nod. And then over over the break, I'll decide what the either the words or phrases <laughs> are. Fine, and then when fine, we come back fine. from break, I'll say what they are. I need a minute. <laughs> I've given uh, her too much power. Too much power! <laughs> um, um, I would have cast Sending again at some point in the trip. Hello, it's me again. Um, no, but I'll send it to my dad, to my father. Ooh. Yeah. Um, dad Lazarin? And I will just, I will say, Father, you will tell me everything you know about the override. You will okay. send it to the friendly giant in Aldalon, and you will do it quickly. Father, into your hands I command my spirit. You get a response. Good to hear your voice, son. Shall be done. It's about time, anyway. Not, and at some point, I would have also checked in with Davian to basically make sure he's alright. This is sort of like an outcare patient type, like, <laughs> where does it hurt still, you know, you can see any like problems, phys any phys bad? Physiotherapy, just to make sure yeah. that... It's like a physio shit, it's just the like, can, I, can I discharge like him from my care, system. or do I still need to follow up, like, later on? Do like, need to, like, uh, extend thing? his prescription, you know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, go yeah, over yeah. and you're like, so by the way, you owe me 300 gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, every time. Every Can time I get that in an itemized bill? <laughs> <laughs> it's just me being like, uh, <laughs> one diamond, one. <laughs> oh God, invoicing oh, me. No, no, don't <laughs> invoicing me with the spell casting component. You yeah, know, no, 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 actually, <laughs> I don't actually. You, know. you said it's been a couple of days now at this point, right? Yes. So we set off on the third. Is it now the sixth? Sure. My Actually, orange and mango sixth. wine that I made is ready, so Yo. I'm gonna do a taste test Party with the last time. You're gonna do a taste test? What, what is it with again? The orange and mango wine. Roll the twenty. Mm -hmm. Add your proficiency bonus. It's good. It's very good. Proficiency bonus twenty one. Pretty damn good. Very, very, very sweet at first, but then it's, it does have that, like, that, like, uh, sophisticated, more, um, like a sophisticated, more of a, like, like, burny in the throat aftertaste, but uh, in a good way, like, not, you know, it's not like you're, you're, you're popping shots, but it's definitely, um, it's, it's, it starts off very sweet and something you reckon the younger people would enjoy drinking, but then when you go to, like, swallowing it, it does have that, that, that like, r more rich, sophisticated experience that you, that you would assume... You made like, schnapps. <laughs> yeah, true. Sure. I mean, I made an orange and, yeah. like, mango fruit wine, so basically, yeah. 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 Leave it a little longer, it'll be schnapps. Yeah. That's pretty good. So uh, this could be, a, you know, sell that recipe to fucking Brickito, you never know. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> um, okay. Then a few more days pass by as you suddenly hear a very loud Lad ho! You see in the distance, the city of Eldalon begins to peek up. And you arrive at the docks roughly just after, just after noon, so let's say 1pm. You're in Eldalon. 
the pin on your chest, the dolphin pin, disappears, as it's been a week now since you okay. got it. Let's change all your stats. And, and we'll, if we're timeline sucked, then it's the 8th of Septimon when we'd arrive there. Captain Vera will also disembark the ship and go to Kai and say, From here on out, for the foreseeable future, the porcupine is under your command. Treat her with respect and treat her well, Captain Kai. If you need Will me, do. I'll have a room. Captain Kai! If you need me, I'll have a room at the uh, the weeping mug. It goes for you all. Thank you so much for uh, sailing with porcupine seaways. Nobody died. No refunds. See you when I see ya. And she leaves. Celeste also disembarks. Um... Uh, Right, so I'll uh, go on a little, little, little mosey around town. See what, see what I can find. Um, I'll, I'll probably be at the Friendly Giant tonight if you guys want to hang out or something. Thumbs up. Sounds good. She goes on her way all as right, well. Friendly Giant, it is. Yeah. What do you guys all do? Now that you're uh, Kai, you uh, you were told, you know, to, to at some point today let the people at the muddy boat know that you know. The porcupine is back in, in, in ports. Uh, but other than that, you're still free to do whatever the fuck you want. If you want to just kind of hang around we the owed for the rest of the day. All? Can't remember. Oh, shit, uh, you, were, yeah. you were. You were, you were, you were. So you I do you do get paid. Uh, fuck, what was it? I need to look up the... Wait, maybe... Koiba, do you have the notes closer by hand than I do? Fucking probably oh, not. Oh, I, I will. I just don't know how far I need to go back. Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to think how far I need to get back. Uh... Shit. That was no, that's before. that one. That's go ship. That's it. Because we did that fucking ages ago when yeah. we just signed the thing, right? Hold on. Hold on. I'll find so it. That one. Not there. Uh, that one. Yeah, that one. Because <laughs> you were promised like a certain amount Three per day. Three sessions ago, did this happen? What the? It was wild. ages ago because we did it. We did it before, and we've done like saving. Like it was before we saved yeah. Valor. Um, before Valor. You did the fucking Abolition as well. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Found oh. it. Go on. I think. Hold on. Oh, I might have found it too. <laughs> I found it where, we, where Jax introduced us it's, to It's the 6th of awesome. Yeah, so we, we, get a fi we got a 50, 50 gold we go. signing bonus. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so one item from her treasury, plus 10 gold per day, oh, plus a completion bonus. I forgot about bonus. that shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, that'll be after break. That'll be after break, because that's going to be a whole thing. But, uh, so yeah, the so total is one as item as from goes. treasury, 10 gold per day, and a yeah. completion bonus. I think... I think the tank over day we already got paid, right? Because she said, I, "Yeah, it was a, a journey of two weeks. It'd be roughly yeah, hundred and ninety gold." Sure. Yeah. The last one demanded yeah. like, eh. no, no, so. it wasn't demand. She was just like, "It's okay to change the terms of the agreement that I just give you this lump sum now because you're Oh my here. god! Oh, true. And then, and so then, the, yeah. So it's it's a bonus it. for completion and a yeah, magic. So you'll have each gotten a fifty gold completion bonus then. In that case, yeah. you know it's really funny. The next note on this page was, "Oh my god, that's not her name. I'm dumb when I fucked up." Yeah, oh, so yeah. you each receive a 50 gold uh, bonus, and before she leaves, she'll say, um... I'm still poor. Just, um, meet me in the Porcupine tomorrow when I uh, grab my things, and we'll, uh, go through my armory together, yeah? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you all Yay, get 50 you know. gold, and then tomorrow we'll go through magic items. Okay. okay. What do you guys want to do? Actually, uh, should we just take a break here now that you're just in Eldalon? Because normally, you know, and then we can just kind of yeah, yeah. roll into uh, roll into the second half of today's session uh, with you guys. You know, free to roam around Eldalon, deal with Kess and whatever else comes your way. I think deal that might be easier. Yeah. Deal with so, uh, taking a break a little early today, guys, just because that makes more sense from a storyteller perspective to take a break now than wait when we when we come back. Shit. to... Shouldn't we just beeline it to Father Ackle? Probably. Uh, we'll yeah. Up to y'all. That uh, is probably what we're going to be doing. But yeah. So we'll be it's back in a few minutes. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Gamers, uh, exclamation mark charity. If you want more uh, information on the charity we're raising money for, which is, you know, something we're still doing. We're uh, really close to 800. Really close to 800. 
Very close. Have to be cozy and play Animal Crossing. True. Uh, what so we'll be back in a few, gamers. I've BRB. never played Animal Crossing. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Did we Hi, just hit a we tundo? Did. We, we did. did. Thanks to Abby. Abby, you absolute fucking legend. Thank you so much for supporting an awesome cause. We appreciate this you. This means that Ethan has to do his Animal Crossing cozy stream, and Honey Droplets is playing a game I have not heard of called, like, In the Back Room or something oh, like it's that. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Scary game. Yeah. And uh, now the next thing we're gunning for, and then we'll get back into things, is 900, because if we do, Dutch has to eat another hot chili, and Ethan and Koiba will have to race each other in a Hades randomizer if we get And there. also to Haiti. <laughs> Yeah, and to Haiti, the country. Physically. <laughs> right, that's going to take a few years for that race. Um, All right. So, the longest race known to man. You're not the fuck going to walk to Haiti. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you all are kind of gathered at the uh, the docks of Eldilon. It's been uh, been about, you know, a week and a half to two weeks since you last uh, were here, if I recall. Uh, at least 10 days, maybe 11. I don't, even, I, I don't know the exact math, but it's been a while. It's been a, you know, it's been a, there's been an absence. You come back and the city is as busy as ever. Um, what you do notice is that there's a, a substantially larger guard presence everywhere you look. Ooh, well, it seems I that think. security in Eldilon has been tightened a bit in your absence. Um, I think upon noticing that, I would tell Brooks to disguise himself somehow because... Man's wanted for murder in somewhere, and uh, yeah, <laughs> man's do be wanted for murder. I mean, in somewhere, you do be not here, and I'm not sure if there is an extradition treaty from here to to Ferber's footing, but all right. Well, what about Lazarin then? More guards means potentially more nightwebs, and that's also true. I mean. We find. I, I can disguise Elazrin and then use practical effects on myself if that's something we want to do. I'm personally fine, but. If you think I feel like if anyone's different. looking for me or Elazrin, they're gonna know to look for this group even if we're not in it, so. I think we'll be fine. Well, it, you're right, true, but. I'd, I'd rather I have mean... it as a, as a. as a panic button than use it now. Better to look more natural. Even if you don't be suspicious. <clears throat> Even if you don't get extradited or whatever the fuck, like the wanted murder is a wanted murder. I don't know. We've been gone a while. You don't know how much the word could have spread. If things go south, I will fall cloud and then change into someone else. Oh, great. For a minute, I thought I said things go south. I will. Fuck loud instead of fuck loud. I'm like, how oh, is that gonna loud. help? <laughs> like, uh, Quick, just like, oh, fuck loud. <laughs> All right. Oh, fuck. Um, I don't make love. I fuck loud. loud. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, on, on that note, by the way, for all the audience, the phrases that Brooks was oh, taught true. in sign language. Well, the first day we went with three words and Dagen taught him the words we, for... We went with three words. We went with... Look, I did. Dagen taught him the words, uh, sign language for dick, tits, and ass. Because Brooks needs to nice. know that for his lifestyle. Classy. Uh, and then second day went with a phrase and again taught him to say, shall we go to your place or mine? help him get get those ladies and or gentlemen uh and anything in between. Was homeless yeah and then <laughs> day three went a little more serious and went with a phrase again and taught him to say what do you need in sign language oh yeah cool. there you go so now you're now everybody knows everyone's caught up Which Ethan so that when they get to his place or ass. Ass. He can ask what they need. He can ask what they need fulfill. when they get to this place. And if they ask yeah. him, he can reply with tits, dick, or ass. Tits, dick, or ass. Or all three. Or all the above. <laughs> That's the next phrase you need to teach him is all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. So just, just yes, right? Yeah. yeah. Or just, yes. yeah, he knows yes. Uh, so. <laughs> um, okay. So you're all gathered at the uh, the docks of Eldilon. Busy as ever. Trade ships unloading uh, cargo or loading up cargo. Everywhere you look. Uh, it's just another busy day in the uh, biggest harbor of uh, the new the new world, the new continent. So, right. oh, 
You guys want to look at the group? Uh, we should probably go to the temple, get Kess back. Temple first, then Porcupine. Uh, not Porcupine, uh, Weeping Mug. Weeping um, Mug? Or are we going to go Friendly Giant? I, I, um, we like, gonna meet do up this with, and with point Vera. at Brooks uh, when he says Weeping Mug. We we were going to meet up with, with Vera to okay. get our reward. That sounds good. She said she tomorrow. Did say well, to me. She said that was tomorrow. in the Porcupine, though. Tomorrow on the porcupine, yeah. That's what she said. Oh, she's, yeah. No, I, 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 I'll just. No, never mind. <laughs> and so <laughs> let's be the start signing giant, to Brooks so. before realizing that Brooks only yeah. knows about three of the words. Yeah, she's I don't. That literally, I literally start signing something and then just kind of do a oh, forget about it hand gesture. Forget about it. Out of out of <laughs> habit. <laughs> just, yeah. Ah, Oh, God, I knew that one. <laughs> oh, he's like, he's like something tits. <laughs> okay. Kai will, Kai will walk up and be like, would you mind if I take along for one more day? Of course. Honestly, at this point, Kai has just sort of expected you would. <laughs> Rude. Oh, well, we would like to see if you can, can get the, if you can get the cast back to living form. It would also be good for my call, uh, for my consciousness to be like, okay, didn't leave them with someone in stone. All right, team. So, so we'll go temple district. So you head to the temple district. Father Uncle. Uh, and the temple district's same as the docks. Quite a lot more guards running around, uh, keeping an eye on the place. <laughs> and as you enter the temple, uh, the, none of the guards stop Wait, you. Wait, is is there an, is there a noticeable increase in the number of people, or just the number of guards? Just the number of guards. Mm. Um, as you look around, uh, like none of the guards stop you. Your reputation in Eldilon specifically makes it so that you can travel wherever the hell you please without too much kerfuffle. Uh, and as you enter the temple, uh, Father Ackle is there overseeing a group of younger-looking clerics. Um, and as you enter and he sees you, he just kind of like scurries them off and it's good to see you all. It's been, uh, it's been, a, it's been, a, it's been a little while. Um, I prepared the things you wanted me to prepare, um, Elazrin. Uh, we can, we can get started uh, right away. Um, do you want to just, all of you join me in a private room for this matter? Yes. Pretty good. Is it he, going uh, to take long? You... Sorry? Is it going to take long? Um, this will take me uh, no, not very long at all. Just a few moments, really. Oh. Nice. Um, I there is a, a, a you know I a, a component that that costs a bit of money, but given the things you've done for me in the past, I'll uh, I'll I'll it's fine. The church will pay for the diamond dust required for this spell to be cast. Don't worry about it. And uh, he guides you to a to a separate room, um, somewhat of an infirmary, um, with a few beds in it, but none of them are uh, are occupied at the moment. I, I hate to put myself in the room, but where is your friend? <laughs> well, should well, I say address the lack of elephant in the room? Maybe as <laughs> as he does that, I just take the vessel of the mermaid and I just start like furiously just like tapping it with like a claw until blue comes out. <laughs> Hello. Blue, Blue comes out with with Kess, and Father Eckle is just like, <coughs> like his eye, his jaw drops, eyes. Oh yeah. My goodness. I forgot about that. And Blue just looks. Hey man. Um, hey man. There she is. He went all sun tree for a minute there. Hey man. <laughs> he, he kind of whenever he, him, like whenever that. him and Kes have conversation, <laughs> okay. that, that tends to be his. He yeah. tends oh, to be very okay. like normal and, and somewhat stoic to people he doesn't know. But whenever it's like whatever, uh, he's just like he's just like he's a fucking surfer bro this whole time. He, God damn it! Not necessarily a surfer bro, but definitely leans into that vein a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I got it right here. Um. All digits intact. Nothing broke off. Um. I'll leave you to it. And he just kind of back into the vessel. I look at give father, I call this look of like... You have friends in peculiar places, don't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, a, in peculiar it's a long place. one. <laughs> right. Um, okay, well, uh, I, I suppose for the sake of 
risking breaking her will just leave her standing. We might need someone to catch her though when the the the, the, the petrification ends because. She might not be able to walk properly for a little bit to kind of readjust. You ever seen? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Literally, just a few seconds. <laughs> you ever seen a um, like a baby, a, a baby, a baby horse try to walk for the first time? It's kind of like that. She's gonna have to find her her, her footing again hey, when uh, you, the first when few, you... few, few few seconds. So just in case. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> and he uh, puts his hand on uh, Kes and begins mumbling a few words in. Any of you speak Celestial, perchance? I don't yeah. speak Celestial. No, no I don't. don't. Oh, you don't? So no, you it, it sounds... infernal. That's not what I asked, is it? That's the opposite. <laughs> um... So to you, the words kind of sound like like a like a like a hymn almost H Y M N that is. Uh, there's this almost like some kind of like melody to it when he speaks, and his hand begin to glow, his hands begin to glow. That's like this like bright golden color, and it ends with just a with, with just a pretty violent flash. You all kind of rub your eyes, quite bright. You can see that Kess's stone body begins to crack. And for a second, you're all like, oh, did it go wrong? Oh, shit, like panic. But then you see as parts of the stone body, uh, like the stone layer around Kess break off, you can see that it begins to reveal her normal clothing and her, her arms and, and her face from under it. Mm -hmm. And this process takes about half a minute until Kess eventually poof, breaks free petrification. Kess, you have no idea what happened. You have no idea how long has passed since. Your, your last memory is you were fighting uh, Evander High Castle, and suddenly you're with your friends and Father Ackle in Eldilon, and you have no idea what the fuck happened. I don't remember any of the dream stuff. Vaguely. Okay. Vaguely. The dream stuff? And you do uh, kind of uh, like uh, fall, begin to fall down as you just, you know, having I'll to adjust. Yeah, so Daigon catches you and, and kind of like puts you on one of the puts puts you on the bed. Put your back. She like as soon as she regains the ability to do so, she instinctively casts disguise self to look like the Elven version of herself with blonde hair. Does she do this often? I'll just nod and I'll sign back. You're fine, or I'll sign to guess. You're fine. We're in Eldalon. We'll explain in a minute, but we 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 got the trident. It's all over. I'll give her a hug. Aww. <laughs> oh, as as Davian hugs her, I'll say, "Oh, by the way, Davian died. So <laughs> be careful with that." Father Ackle, he died. That's in sign language. Oh, yeah, sign language. Speak <laughs> shit. Sign language. Listen, it's sign language every time, dude. Fucking, dude, because Laura talking, you know what I mean? That's why I'm like, oh, I want to jump in on that, but I fucking can't. Steve can confirm. Yep. He does. He's actually a <laughs> night web in disguise. <gasps> we never oh, checked him. <laughs> oh, Father looks at you, looks at you, Kess, and just kind of like, you're okay. Um, You might feel a bit sore and tense. Your muscles might be a bit tense for the next few days as you, you know, you've, you've, um, I don't know how long exactly you were petrified for, but uh, it tends to kind of, you know, you'll, 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 it'll wear off in a few days. Just, just take it easy. Um, if it's anything like being dead, you'll feel back to yourself in no time. I'll give her a what? <laughs> like a clap on the shoulder. Huh? <laughs> Let's just say your teachings came in handy, Father. You like things for a few seconds. Like, oh, well, I'm happy they did. Wow, um... Me what? too. What? <laughs> Man, um... Now that I have you here, though, uh, I'm not going to bother you right away, but I, I would like a conversation with all of you. And minus... the total friend, I, I'm afraid. Uh, Father Ackle, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Captain Kai. <laughs> um, this is uh, regarding some business matters we've discussed in the past. Uh, a bit of a follow-up. To catch my drift. Um, uh, um, are right. you still staying yes. at the uh, at the friendly giant? Not yes. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'll I'll find you there tonight then, if that's all right. 
Sounds good. Right, about, about, I don't know, like 7 or 8 p.m., perhaps. That's, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll find you there. Um, I'm very happy I was able to help. Guess it's good to see that you, uh... Well, you look a little different, but, um... Thanks. Yeah. Good, glad, glad that I could have, uh, that I could assist in... Unpetrifying you. It's not something I do every day. I'm very happy that I still had the, uh, capabilities to. But you were quite lucky, actually, because, uh, I, I had to... <laughs> Let's just say that uh, we don't really... Uh, diamond dust is pretty hard to come by. Uh, it's very lucky that we had the supplies we needed, which uh, I'm going to have to replace now, but... I, I think for the f sake of having to treat you a lot more often, I think maybe... dipping into the church budget for supplies such as that, just in case you come knocking in the future, might be a good idea. Just in case. You know, some diamonds, diamond dust, that sort of thing. We'll make sure we'll have money on hand and supplies on hand for you. Just, As they're talking about that. money, I go, I kind of have like a, oh, look on my face. And I give Kess her 50, because I'm assuming I took her portion of the yeah, 50. And then I give it to her and sign. This was our completion bonus, by the way. This is yours. Thanks. Right. Um... Glad for helped. Um, if there's anything you need from me, let me know. Uh, in the meantime, if you need some time in this room, uh, you know, to, to kind of catch her up, uh, feel free. If you need me, I'll be out there. Uh, um, I was in the middle of a, of a class with, with some of the younger clerics, but... Um... Whoops. What, while you're here, Father, mm -hmm. what's with all the extra guards? Partially why... Um, I, I, I'll... It's not the reason of the conversation I want to have with you, but it's part of it, so I'll, I'll, I'll explain tonight. That's all right? Sure. It's nothing to worry about, uh, for now at least. Um, it's It'll all make sense, I promise. It's something to worry about. No, it's, 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 don't worry. It's You're fine. You, 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 you have not diplomatic immunity, but you do have mm -hmm. some, some sway with the guards, so they'll leave you to it. It's just to... Um, <laughs> Ensure the security of uh, the people that live in Eldilon. You know, in case things go wrong. In case things go wrong? Again, I'll, it'll all make sense after we right, talk Right, right, right. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, fella. Yeah, um, like I said, use this room as long as you'd like. Uh, I'll go back to, uh, to the class that I was teaching. Um, if you need me, I'll be there. And he leaves the room. Welcome back, Kess. Thanks. Don't know how much you really... Were you, you know, here during all that? Like, were you no, present? No, I don't remember anything. Just being in the fight and then suddenly I wasn't. Well, you didn't miss... I mean, it's a cliff notes. Davian died, but it's fine. Uh, she sh Witch lady showed up in a very large tidal wave. And then went away. And we got the pirates off the island, and they came back. And we're gonna go see Vera later on the porcupine to give us a, an item from her treasury. And yeah, you you blue kept you in the vessel while we were traveling back, so that you know you wouldn't like crack or anything. Because apparently, if, if that happened while you were in that state, then that's that couldn't be fixed. So, but it's all good. Yeah, like if your arm broke off or something. Again, sign language. Come back with no arm. Sign language. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. 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 I'm not the only one that fucks up every time. <laughs> no. Yeah. It happens. I I usually I'm pretty good at it too. Yeah. yeah. It happens. It's just it's so like. Yeah. So, so easy you just to see... kind of like jump in on conversation that's going on, right? So like it's, yeah. I get it. So like, you just I, see I, very I rapid fire signing as I'm trying to give Cliff Notes catch some up fucking version. Naruto fucking... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you just see it end with like a, a thumbs up. It sounds like things ended well at least. If you need anything at all, let's know. Especially if could quite healing or anything. I'm fine now. Insight check. <laughs> Insight check. Uh, I mean, Bell. I'll let you decide whether that's deception or persuasion. Oh, that's deception, surely. 
I rolled quite shit. <laughs> Uh, Kess rolled like a 32. You should cast like, yeah. like mad bonuses that shit as well, so... I've got yeah, my I do brain, not. But... You don't? Oh. I don't. Well, Big old 13, baby! I get plus 11. 8. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, you do kind of read Kess's face, and... Um, I mean, I'll let you answer that bell. Is, is Kess actually... Like, is Kess bullshitting? She's full of shit! <laughs> <laughs> She's will... very stiff and quiet and kind of not blue. Yeah, a, a different color. Yeah, right now you're a blonde, yeah. blonde elf. A blonde right woman now. with yeah. pointy elf ears. I will. Yeah, I'll I'll put a hand on on her shoulder and just sort of in your own time. If blonde doesn't see you as much. Hmm. Oh. Hadn't noticed. <laughs> She'll just like spell it. That's what he meant. That looking different. I thought he meant the stone. No, <laughs> although that wasn't necessarily a good look for you. Oh, the peace and quiet was nice. <laughs> good to have you back. You do miss it sometimes. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Uh, and it, I feel like he's entitled to this one, being the one who, you know, fucking died. We'll give him that. <sighs> well then. Should As we, uh... Brooke says that, I signed to Kess, and I'm partially trying to make her laugh. To be honest, I don't know why we didn't see this coming. We brought the fire boy into water fight. This was a terrible <clears throat> idea. And only Kess knows that. <laughs> that wasn't one of our finest ideas. Gonna look at Dagon just in the middle of this conversation as she's signing. I just signed Dick. And uh, just laugh. I I I flawlessly keep like signing what I was saying, but the shoulders are like <laughs> a little chortle. And then this is our new favorite game. <laughs> yep. And I was like, oh, by the way, I taught Brooks some dirty words, so be prepared for that. I noticed. That'll be fun. Oh, I. Be Look you only heard the her response. Them, as, the, yeah. as the all silence and just the look between the three, I'm like, what's going on here? Huh? What's, <laughs> what shit's going on here? Huh? <laughs> all right. Is there anything you guys would like to do? Now that you're back in Aldilon, still at the temple, but back in, uh, you know, a familiar setting, home, some might say, at least uh, home the to your stomping party. Ground. The old stomping grounds. I don't, I don't know about any of you, but I could do with a very warm bath. Yeah. Oh, that what sounds so that? fucking good right now. Right? Oh god. Oh, you. The second you said that, the salt encrusted <laughs> yeah. everything about yeah. my body just <laughs> really started screaming. I'll um, I'll pay for it. Let's get a get a new massage. Oh, you're going to the carafe. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say go to the craft. I'll pay. If we're going to the craft, I don't want Celeste to miss it. Well, That's true. I think. So well, for let's go. Many reasons. Things are advancing, <laughs> Well, we can't get a reward until tomorrow. Okay, no, are we staying at the craft or are we having oh, a bath at the craft? God, no, we're, we're just having a bath there. there. We're just having a bath there. I was going to say, I would be surprised if you were going to spring for rooms for us all. Oh, no, not spring. No, we'll. I think I almost want to so what are we be thinking? more friendly company. Bath first. And well, pick up if, Celeste. If, if, no, if we need to go get Celeste, we might as well go friendly get Celeste, friend. pay for rooms, yeah. then go via the. Porcupine. My, no, not porcupine. Porcupine tomorrow. tomorrow. That is, I fucking... It's like a is it because you've not been drinking, been Brooks? Like the past minutes, Ethan, are you okay, bud? <laughs> Bro Brooks, are you okay? You, you seem He's sober. He's having a stroke. I'm, I, I mean, first of all, I am sober. What's the problem? It's been a very hectic couple of days. Yes, I know. Exactly, so it's a little surprising that you're sober. Mm. I'm doing my best. Right. How do we find a giant blue fish lady in the middle of the city? Why didn't she say she was going to be at the friendly? She said she'd be at the giant later, but we don't know if she's there now. Why don't you uh, just look at her? Where did she go? Oh, you're right. I'll call Sendik. Fucking <laughs> 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 idiots, all of you. Idiots. Uh. <laughs> hey, Celeste. Hey, girl. I Hey girl, so we're like totally going hit now. Queen. <laughs> I don't know if you can find it, 
but we are heading to the craft. Come join us. Or where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your message? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm mistaking it for a lasvin, that's for sure. Really confusing it's, at the end. Strange. It's just like, yeah, cause, no, cause, cause it goes like, wait, maybe she doesn't wait. know where it is. Huh, where, where the fuck are you? I'll just come to you. Yeah. <laughs> like, run out of words, so it's just like, where are you? <laughs> um. Sure. At Friendly Giants right now. Booking a room. So let's just go pick her up. Yeah, <laughs> we're I'll just say it. She's at the Friendly Giant booking a room at the moment, so... Well, look at that. Just go there. Perfect. Right, let's head over there. Alrighty. So you head to the Friendly Giant, uh, and as you open the doors, you know, all the all the, the familiar uh, faces and... uh, greet you. Uh, you are met by by Rianelle, who uh, kind of... It's been a while. Good to see you. All All doing well. What else we can have you been? No. We're here. That's about as good as we get at the moment. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound quite pleasant. Uh, well, it's good to see you all. Uh, are you staying with us again? We will for be. the next few days, or you got we other are. plans? Beautiful. How uh, many that's... rooms have you got at the moment? Uh, for you lots, we'll, we'll always have room. Um, but um, your timing is quite, quite good. Um, she kind of like. It's it's Pleasure's birthday today, and we're hosting a bit of a birthday party tonight. If you guys want to come, of course, that's good. Oh, she doesn't know of, those. She doesn't know those. Oh, shh. I'll kind of like. She ended up but, print money on notes because I'd make it rain for Pleasure's birthday. <laughs> you can. You can get hell. I um. Gets <laughs> <laughs> just fucking silver at her. <laughs> no, it get, gets like a like a pot and throws it like that. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll kind of give Brick this look and be like, never ask for a birthday. <laughs> I've not been here that long, okay? Yeah, so she's out and about um, all day pretty much. We've, we've sent her this this annoying long list of chores to do while we uh, get ready. So, uh, you know, all of us are going to be there and it's going to just, it's just a little excuse to get drunk. But, uh, you know, we, we've all kind of um, decided that... Um, we want to give her a gift. So we... Actually, Brooks. Well, that's not a gift. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> she like, look what at you? you want. How do you look in... Very tight underwear? I feel like you should know the answer to that already, but... Just wanted to what see do you me. have in mind? Well, it would be funny, you know, you walk in, do, do, do you have any clothing that you could just tear off your body? It's just... We you have, have to this, make these plans in front we have of this all big, of us. We have this big box, you know, and our plan was to have Rob jump out and, and, and you know, dance with her and, and kind of try to embarrass her, but it would be even funnier if you did. Sort of embarrass her. Isn't that sort of her day to day thing? Yeah, I, I have to admit, it I don't is, necessarily see her being embarrassed by this, but. Not embarrassed her, that's probably not the right word, but just kind of. You know, we're just going for a, for, for a shock reaction, really. I think it would be funnier if you did it. Sure. Why not? <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay. Uh, and she'll quickly run away, come back, and hand you these, like, very tight, like, like red. Like basically male panties, and then hands them to you. Just wear this, nothing else. Ripper spandex, booty shorts. Strap. And uh, if you have some shirts that you don't mind, you know, you're a strong man, you can probably just... Right? Any, 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 any old clothing that you don't use anymore? I will be letting you know how much it costs me for a new shirt when I go see Emma. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> right, so, um, so that's going to be tonight. Uh, so yeah, just be around, I suppose. Um, in the meantime... Rooms, uh, food, drinks, anything? Just rooms mm -hmm. for now. Uh, yeah. We're not staying for long, but rooms would be nice. We've right. also got a friend who's already made her way here. 
Just oh, it's um, the, the, the the Triton. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. She um, yeah, she booked the room as well. Or... She and she, you see her point, and she points at one of the like um, the one of the, like booths along the wall. Yeah, she's in there. She's just having a drink. Um, nice lady. Talks a lot though. You know, it's very mm. very um, and doesn't really Enchanting. seem. No. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't mind. Uh, anyway, um, she very much struggles staying on the same topic for long. She kind of goes from this to this. She seems quite overwhelmed by by this by the city. So she, you know, just cute, but very loud and talks a lot. Yeah, she booked a room. She's uh, going to be staying here for at least a week. She said so. Has she has she paid up front or? She has, yeah. Okay. If she comes down and gets a drink, just stick it on our tab. All right. All right, see you tonight then, Brooks. Looking forward to it. I'm sure I can come up with some ideas to make things interesting. Very good. <clears throat> so let's see, looks at you all and just kind of waves at you and, and gets up from, from, her, from her seat. Ah, oh, this place is, uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. It's definitely interesting. I know, I know it was Brooks's recommendation, so. No, I quite like it, actually. It's, it's, it's nice. People are so themselves here. They're nice. They're welcoming. They don't care about, you know, who you are, what you, what you do. It's great. Those well, are the place I would trust most, as unusual as that sounds no, i get it i mean you know as someone who's always kind of stood out it's nice to be in a place where people don't really give a fuck what you look like well luckily we're going to take you so much as the complete opposite of all this oh. and they very much care <laughs> uh only till only where they very much best. care unless you have enough money for them to not care yeah. which yes. currently we do do so i don't you mate we you all know. oh Pay for us. You're with us. Yeah. You're um. We're going on the nicety relaxing thing. The amenities are nice, but the people aren't. We'll put it that way. They now to take care of people, but they're not the friendliest. You're. This is. I don't really know what we're going to be doing. I'm just a bar house. Making oh. a bar. Why did you just say so? It made it sound like we were going into some weird. I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. That we was are. a weird way of describing. We're going for a bath. It's in a very posh place. Posh as in expensive, fancy, uppity, oh snooty, and you know. People keep their wallets close to you know close to their. People have other people carry their wallets for them. Oh, it's like that. We're going to the finest establishment yeah. in the city specifically to use their bathing facilities because they are the best. We just don't like staying there because it's overpriced and they're all a bit. So keep my hands in my own pockets. You know. That's what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Probably. Preferably. Probably best. Okay. 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 It's just especially with all these old habits around. die hard. You know. It's um. <laughs> you come to a place and there's just a lot of potential treasure. It can't help but it's been adapted to the pirate treasure. life. You know. I mean, take what you want. No repercussions. So let's just keep my hands in my pockets. Right. Either way. Yeah, it's probably for the best. I mean, if you want to keep yourself in practice, we could always start a, a fun game. Hmm? I am going to... Has anyone, anyone got any ink on them? I do. Um, yeah. I think I do as well, <laughs> somehow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out a coin. <laughs> Pretty sure Celestia, like, starting with her head ink. Put a uh, cross on that. Uh, go ahead and do so. I now have a marked coin. Mm -hmm. Whoever pickpockets the marked coin off me will then have to announce to everyone that they have the marked coin. Whoever still has it at the end of the night can have whatever drinks they want and I will pay for it. If I still have it, you've all got to pay for me. Oh, you're on. Well, that's fun. That was out of character, obviously. So, every, so as soon as I say say I pickpocket you on the way to wherever the hell we're going, I have to tell you. Oh, by the way, I took it, and then 
I just have to make sure that you, I pay attention, or you have work? to. You have to be reasonable with. It. You don't have to say there and then, but mm -hmm. it has to be like. You know, you can't just pickpocket it without saying anything and then just keep it all day, because then we're not going to know who the next target is. Okay. So, like, if you pickpocket me when we're in the bathhouse, when we leave the bathhouse, you have to be like, oh, by the way, I've got the coin now. Okay. It has to be on your person somewhere. It can't oh, be... Fun. Yeah, Cass is like, damn it, there goes my advantage. You, so you can't, <laughs> you can't put it anywhere that's not on your person. It has to be... That in gives a me my advantage back. <sighs> Technically, the vessel is not my person. No, it has to be in a pocket. <laughs> not pocket Technically. dimension. <laughs> yeah, it's in a pocket dimension. It has pocket to be in one of your pockets. <laughs> like, I can't put it down my fucking boxers and be like, huh, I've got... You know, it has to be on a pocket. It's a fair game. Right. I know you're Do you think in. putting it in your boxers is going to stop anyone? I would hope that it would stop at least some of this group. Oh, because you're going to be wearing less than that uh, later tonight. I That's also it. true. Sorry? I could just disguise myself as a Lazarin and then put those on. Oh, dear God, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, so uh, a friend of ours who works here is having a birthday party tonight. And uh, fun! Apparently I've been Hi. involved in that. Oh. I see. Given the nature of the establishment, I can only imagine... Yeah. Fun? Fine. Uh, Elazrin's seen her naked, so she's seen Elazrin naked, I assume? Who? Oh. No, you know he wears little pants in bed. <laughs> no, she would have. <laughs> Maybe they're this sort of style. <laughs> my, anyway. my little secret. <laughs> right, who, who's in on the on the coin game? Me. Is that what you call it? So Me. Lesti's in on the coin game. Dagan <laughs> mm -hmm. not um. playing along? No. Oh, you find out. I feel, out like, I feel like you're very good. It's uh, okay. It's not technically. Not it's not technically pickpocketing, but I feel like you'd be very good at it. Plus, it's not stealing okay, if you give fair. someone permission to steal, right? I will just look at his big fucking claws and like, <laughs> I will try. Hey, man. <laughs> He just gives a far fight, deck him, take all he's unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Last one. You'll find out. You got a thing for coins. Not once they've been truly mild, it'd be hard to get that off to shine. That's the whole point of it. But we'll uh we'll see. We'll see how the night takes us. Okay. He's playing. He's playing. 100 percent he's playing. All right, I am go. going to, mm -hmm. in front of everyone, put my hand into my pocket with this coin and pull my hand back out with the coin not in my hand, mm -hmm. and then actually put it in a different pocket. Okay. Make a so, deception check. I'm... Is this deception or sleight of hand? Um. Well, your whole point is to people to see the, that you still have a coin in your hand, right? And then put it somewhere else. So I feel like it's more so towards I, this... I want to... I want... To like put the coin between my fingers, mm -hmm. put it oh, in a man. pocket, yeah, and then I want a sleight of hand. Like I want to take my hand out of the pocket, but sleight of hand so they don't see yeah. the coins still in my hand. Oh, okay. I thought he's the pretending whole... he put it in his pocket, but he's not. It's right. In his okay, mixed side hand check. Yeah, yeah. yeah mixed side hand check then in that case. Yeah, so I'm gonna take like I'm gonna hold it like that and take my hand out of the pocket so that people can't see I've still got mm -hmm. the coin. Ooh, twenty one. Righty. So you're off to the carafe, the carafe, the carafe, the carafe. carafe. Shit word. Whoever fucking thought of that name for a what bar should idiot get names fired. Place the carafe. That sounds fancy, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you get there, you, you've you've been to this establishment a couple times. There's this very over the top, posh public walking around um, as you get there you immediately get approached by uh, a high elf red hair kind of like tied in a tied in a very neat like ponytail eyebrows very well kept uh, wearing like a, a proper like three piece suit uh, approaches you good and kind of looks outside afternoon I think just about what can I do for you today 
enter to your bathhouses, please. Bathhouse, of course. Uh, all of you? Yes. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll set it. Don't forget, Jax is Jack's still there here. as well. So mm -hmm. seven, uh, eight. eight. All right. Uh, you all. Uh, do I do I charge you separately or? Yeah, just all together. You know, do you want the full package or just a bath, or do you want, you know, your clothing to be steamed as well while while you're in there? Uh, but perhaps a massage oh, as well. Go full package. Full package, mm -hmm. my man. All right, so that would be uh, <laughs> a doctor decree, my man. <laughs> would be uh, let's see, full package would be uh, fifteen gold each. So Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, eight. That would be one hundred and twenty gold. Correct. I think so. Give them 120 gold. Great. Well, I've taken out two different pockets, so it's like 80 in one. <laughs> kind of fill it up a little bit. He's like, eh, oh, whatever. It takes the money. All right. Uh, have you been here before? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So just make your way down. Uh, if you want your clothing to be steamed and all that, just make sure that they are in the basket that you'll find in your clothing room or in your changing room. Uh, obviously, you know the way to the baths. Uh, if you want to massage at any point, there's a chamber attached to... The bathhouse, where you can just lie on a table and someone will come take care of you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> right, and Good. you all go for a, a lavish, luxurious time in uh, the bathhouse okay. and its uh, perks. You know, some of you, you know, those who get a massage, get a massage. Your clothing gets cleaned and steamed while you're uh, in the bath. Um, Kaz changes from the pirate costume to her normal clothes. Okay. Does uh, Brooks get his clothes steamed? I'm washed. I don't know, does he? I'm asking. Brooks will put his pirate clothes that he was wearing in his bag. And Mother will fuck. get his... Uh, his blue suit steamed. Okay. At some point, I would like to go off. Like, I'm going to get one of the, like, either massages or something, you know, so I'm not with the whole group. Mm -hmm. And um, find an employee <laughs> and ask. But, and then I have to write this out on a piece of paper because... Yeah, there'll be reason. like one of the masseuses will, will, yeah. will be there and just kind of uh, mm. can help you, yeah, darling, like, oh. you for a massage. Uh, I'll nod yes, hold up my hand for like one second, and then take a minute to write this out in my talking journal. Like, uh, sorry, can't exactly speak. I was wondering if, if you could do me a favor, and I will quickly count out from my coin purse and just dip my claw in ink. And not the same cross that I did on that one coin on a bunch more coins and ask them, um, like, I wanted to give a gift to my friends, just like a, a tip I owe them from recent travels. Can you just put one of these in each of their belongings if they get their clothes steamed or anything? I'm, I'm assuming it's fine because, you know, I'm not taking money, I'm giving them yeah, money. Yeah, of not... course, it's, I suppose so. It's a bit, bit of an odd request, but sure, I can do that. And I will uh just do like a thank you kind of gesture and then go ahead and get a massage hell yeah so everyone has one of those coins that looks like the one i marked and i have two yeah you have you two, two yeah. <laughs> celeste walks around and and she kind of she has never experienced luxury of this level before she is kind of like gobsmacked like fish out of water literally <laughs> <laughs> oh, but she is having the best time just like, <coughs> this like jumps in this 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 way too big bath and just, just kind of like darts around in it um yeah she's having a she's having a good time she's uh, i'm full Geralt to rivia in this bitch dude just down in the tub feet hanging <laughs> out fucking soaking big hidden bubbles oh, yeah. and then comes the time that you're all you know all done with your baths uh clothing those that you, of you that wanted their clothing steamed got them steamed. Those of you that wanted a massage had a massage. And uh, now it's it's getting it's getting towards the end of the afternoon. Um, 
close to some you know, point when we get back i'll tell Cass what i did down. with the coins so she also is aware and can use that information to her advantage um interesting brooks when you're like all dressed and stuff again what's your past perception oh, i have to mark down that gold too don't i i spent mm. perception 12. okay you leave the bathhouse and at some point on your way to, I'm assuming you're going back to the Friendly Giant? Yeah. Celeste will just kind of like walk walk up next to you and just kind of do this and then it has the coin with the X between, between her fingers. Got it. And put it away. And it's funny, is Brooke still has another one? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, actually, on our way back. I am going to. I don't want to ruin one of my good shirts. I'm going to go see Emma and just see whatever off the rack shit shirt I can get that I can trash. So. Oh, and if we've. Since we've been here before, can I also just pick up another. Um, just a, an, another journal and some ink? Because my old talking journal is getting pretty thin from pages ripped out that I've used. So I'm going to get rid of it and get a fresh one. Yeah, I'll say you back like five silver or something. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna go uh, to the glowing cloak. I guess I'll see you all back at the tavern. Oh, you go. Do you know if she has hats? She I like I need a new hat for my new role. <laughs> I know. That, I know. That, okay. I know that we got the hats custom made there, but did she have off the rack hats as well? Yeah. Yeah. She had a few. Yeah. Yeah, she she, she has mostly hats. she mostly does like like commissions, but she does have like just some like standard like a standard array or, or commissions that were made but were never picked up. That also happens. Hats, or you could commission one. I'm not sure how long I will be around here, but let me. I'm, I'm gonna walk with you. I'm curious what she has. Sure, I'll come along. It's a party. If I see it that little group are uh, leaving, I'll so almost hurry back to the friendly giant a bit quicker. <laughs> um, and I'll want to ask um, whoever's at the bar or desk, whatever it is there. Uh, I mean, behind the bar is uh, yeah. the our usual uh, Goliath yeah. friend um, named Cav, the uh, tribal yeah. face tattoo, his large lion on his on his back, just shirtless. Just you right? Yeah. Any um. Post or anything come through here? Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Did you at any point ask someone else to send stuff there? Because I remember someone else doing that as well. Like you, I know. Oh, you... I mean Valor. I told Valor that this right, is yes. where we. Valor knows that we'll be staying there. Right, right, right. Good. Um, um, and that probably be it. If not, it'd so be, yes, be my message, family you and sent Vala. That message. The second day oh, of like your journey, or something. Or fourth, yeah, yeah, second, probably second day. Right. Yeah, and told him to send it quick. <clears throat> uh, yeah, actually, I, I did get something. Um, just a small note. Uh, you're a Lazarin, right? Yes. Hmm, hands it to you. Oh. Here you go. Do I reckon this? Does it have like just my name on the front? Can't uh, it does, but it's, it's very like unmarked. There's no like seal or anything. It's very just like plain. And I will, um, I'll just put my bag for now. Okay. Actually, no, I'll tuck into my own pocket. I'll tuck into a, a pocket. Okay. Uh, at that point, okay. uh, Celeste and those that didn't go to the, um, the, didn't go with, with Kai, uh, blah, 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 Kess and Brooks will also arrive at the Friendly Giant and have a seat. Um, those of you going with Brooks, what's what's going on? Brooks, lead the way, I'm assuming. I'm going to take us over to the craft union mm -hmm. uh, in the crafting district, which if I remember is where... That's where the golden cloak is, right? It's in the... Yeah, it's in the... In like the, section, it's, the, in the, the it's in like the trade hall, yeah. Yeah. It's not in the trade district, it's in the craft district. I thought Correct. So. Uh, then we will go off to see Emma Whittingham. Yeah, and uh, and so you do. And as you approach, Emma looks at you. 
Hello, Brooks. And uh, lovely friends. to see you as always. Uh, Quit the flattery. What do you want? I uh, it's a friend's birthday this evening, and I need a shirt that I won't be upset about getting ruined. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. Just so, any plain old shirt will do. Just a plain shirt, because I don't intend to wear it for long, and I don't want to ruin any of the lovely ones you've made me. All right. So I mean, I can give you this shirt for for, for, for like a silver piece. So that's uh. It's just it's just a plain white shirt. Might be a little too sure. big for you. Like it's 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 definitely like a plus size type thing. You're not going sure, to keep it on for long. Uh, any basic trousers as well? Um. Yes. Uh. Same deal. Don't want some. You know. Don't want to ruin your nice clothing. So just something to. Basically. Okay. Yeah. The, the, another another silver. Some like very plain like brownish pants. And my friend Kai has a request, I believe. Is that so, friend Kai? Uh, yes. Um, see, I have this hat. I can see. A very nice um, hat. It is a nice hat. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm looking for something that's more fitable for menu function on the ship. So I was wondering oh. what would be the biggest hat <laughs> you have that would fit my well the biggest we have um quite tempted you know judging by your you know the the, the coral and and all that that you that you that you've got on your shell and on your shoulder i'm already filling up with ideas of, of making a hat custom to, to to kind of match that but if you don't have that that amount of time then i suppose i can i can i can have a look for you and just just the biggest hat, you say? Well, Kai, captain of the ship now, surely you have as much time as you so wish. You're not here. I Wait, I thought I thought everyone else... No, it was up to you. If you, were, if you were like, I wanted to go with, with them, then you could, you know, it's fine. Yeah, you I mean, say well, you why not? This. Okay, Davian. I was pretty checked out, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And you're like, that massage was far too good. Yeah. That is true. How long would you think it would take for something like one of the custom things you have in mind? Um, standard uh, deal would be about a week, maybe. See, the thing oh. is, I'm gonna have to go and 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 find something to resemble the coral you have on your person, which could prove a bit challenging. But um, other than that, I have all the materials I need right here. So, about a week, I'd say. I think I, I think I will be back in a week. I think I can make it happen. Perfect. So, what are you thinking? I, I was thinking, large hats with 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 like, like with, uh, just big pieces of coral. Maybe a nice large, way too obnoxious feather. I like the feather. If it can be like some kind of teal color for the feather. Of course. Any other color schemes you had in mind? The head I have right now is like this this brownish color. I'm thinking, because I wear more black. Just having like a nice. Deep black. Deep black and then a nice colourful teal feather and some colourful coral to decorate it with. Yeah, with maybe some of the, the stitching in the hat, maybe also fitting the theme of... Any uh, emblem or insignia you want me to embroider onto your hat as well? I, mean, did you, I hear you're captain of a ship. Does your ship maybe have a... An insignia? Well, it has, but I'm thinking to make it more about me. <laughs> Fair enough. Unless you got the ship. I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Just don't love the room. One on the back, on the sides. <laughs> that looks like. This might sound weird, but a mushroom. Trust me, I've made clothes for this guy. I. A mushroom crossed with a piece <laughs> of coral. Mush coral. Coral room. Coral room. I can think of some designs. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. 
and on the other, I'm thinking maybe a, a, a small little one on the front. With just a small little symbol of a shark. Okay. It remind me of some fun memories. All right, yeah, that shall be done. Uh, come back in a week. Um, for a commission of this size and, and, and the materials I need, uh, probably looking at about five gold for the total package. Um, oh. I, I do charge you half up front, half upon delivery, so if you could give me two gold and five silver now, and then I'll get I'll it started you... for you right away. I will give you free gold right now. All right, very, very good. I made it on the hack, guys. Did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, she'll, yeah, she wrote it all down and she'll start immediately, if you're all like done there, she'll immediately begin like drawing some design ideas and, and yeah, she's she's going to work with it. I'll put down a goal for mine. <clears throat> all righty. Anyone else wants anything or are you uh, you done here? Done should there. we Should we get pleasure gift on the way? Oh, can I look for actually when I was buying the, the journal ink, could I also just find some some nice paper to be like wrapping paper? If that exists indeed. Oh that was <laughs> Alright. Alright. All right. Our quaver opening. Yeah, I mean the general store will have some right. like gift wrapping paper and stuff. Um... Yeah, I'll buy some and then I'm gonna wrap up my my smutty romance novel because I finished reading it. But in it I'm also gonna put as like a bookmark one of the the scales off of the sirens that we fought as like a bookmark and i'm gonna wrap that up and okay. write pleasure's name on it which smutty book does dagon have because we've got a couple the, rolling around the the one i have is the orcane romance ah. orc orcane because i still have the lusty dragonborn made <laughs> no, <laughs> I... certified cult classic that one <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you all eventually find your way back to the friendly giant, Lazarin. Uh, if well, I'll leave it up to you. But Celestia also got there a little earlier than the rest, so she probably would have invited you to kind of sit with her and have a have a drink yeah. while waiting for the rest. I'll be I'll be sipping on a drink. And eventually, all of you get there. Um, Rianel immediately approaches Brooks, and she'll she'll be here in uh, about thirty minutes if you want to get ready. Sure. And Rob kind of walks walks by and just kind of like slaps you on the ass and goes, can't wait, big guy. You have no idea how tempted I am to do something incredibly stupid, but entertaining. <laughs> wait, are you saying this out loud? Is this like Brooks thinking out loud or is this Ethan? This is Brooks thinking out loud. It says that I just signed a Kess. Isn't that all of his ideas? Go on. Now, I feel like having a disguise when I come out before revealing it's me would be quite fun. The question sure. is, who do I disguise myself as? I don't know. Well, you're not very fucking helpful, are you? I mean, one of your friends would be funny, I suppose. Or... Maybe it's Cav. Cav was that is, an idea. That is quite funny, you know, being being the proprietor of the establishment and all. Be, uh... My other thought was coming out of the box as pleasure. I was going to say that one. She personally. would absolutely love that, but she would probably be disappointed when you change back to your normal self. That is entirely true. I could just... Could come out as me and then turn into pleasure and then dance with pleasure as pleasure. She'd probably enjoy that, weirdly. Probably. She's quite full of herself, that one. I mean, in a good way, in a, in a, in a, in a, you know, in a non harmful confident. way, but very confident. Self positive. Very much. I, I mean, I could do a Lazarin, but I feel like I've bullied him enough recently. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, uh, on multiple occasions, cut down his hammock when we were on a ship. You're a dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't really argue against that one. All right, so whatever you're gonna do, just uh, do it. Do it quick because, like I said, she's gonna be here soon. 
Okay, I am going to go upstairs and get changed. Okay. All right. Uh, the rest of you, like some some more guests, trickle in. Uh, one of them being, uh, which ones of you have met Brookito before? The Minotaur. Yeah. Friend of Brooks. Some of you have met him. He he walks in with a with a, a, a wrapped box, like gift wrap box, and puts it on the bar. And some other people from from They're like town. a gift table where people are putting gifts. They just all put it on the bar. Her? Okay, then I'll put the one I wrapped for her up on there. Okay. Uh and um like a handful of others, uh some people you do recognize. Uh Peter Riz shows up. Uh he's there. Um uh, Will Captain Blackpaw put... also shows up. And you get a <laughs> you get the sense that <laughs> of the people showing up, a lot of them definitely have some kind of function in the city and they all seem to be the sort of clientele that pleasure typically... I was going to say we're, we're meeting pleasure's clientele <laughs> yeah, right now much. yeah basically <laughs> pleasure is basically and it's like really our a camp- who's who of the Eldalon uh, <laughs> she, she is our campaign's ruby of the sea that's what she is i guess i guess yeah. like all of the 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 employees at the friendly giant she has a type but like pleasure definitely draws in the Rich. The, not necessarily rich, but the power players. Yeah, power, people yeah. with position in position of power. Yeah, it's ironic because you'd expect it to be Rianel. Yeah, I mean Rianel is kind of like the what's that shit called? She doesn't. She only the, the matron type. Yeah, she well, she will still do the do Madam the work as well, but very rarely. Only for like really like high profile clients or whatever. She she, she that, can afford to. Do whatever the fuck she wants and whoever she wants. Yeah, pretty much. So if it's not yeah. good paying, get fucked. Pretty much. Or well, don't get fucked. Not by her, at least. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so she kind of she she just kind of you know she's done the job for longer than all of the employees, and she now kind of has the luxury of kind of not having to and kind of just overseeing the rest. You got put in the manager position. Um, take a bottle of the uh, honey orange mead and a bottle of the fruit wine. And put those on the present table. All right. So as everyone kind of gathers in the in the, in the in the bar, uh, Cav goes around and shuts like the blinds and 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 rolls the you know shuts the blinds and the curtains, and you guys all wait for a little bit, and after a few minutes, Pleasure walks in dressed in. It's like this like long coat, uh, hood up, and and puts the hood down, puts. Like a bag full of just groceries or whatever sh- shitty chores she had to do at that time. Puts it down and everyone just, just surprise and she looks around. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's good to see you all. Um, did I forget something? Is uh what's the what's the occasion? I'm kidding. I know it's my birthday. Thank you very much. I I, I do appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I don't. Is that why I had to do all these shit chores all day? Is because of this? And Rio no kind of looks. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go sit down there, get drunk, and uh, you all have fun. And if you need me, I'll be there. And she's kind of music starts playing, and she just goes to her like to a booth and just starts drinking. Um, but eventually, you know, people start approaching her and, and she, she, she does kind of get into the, the, because of the fact that she had to do all these shitty chores all day, not really knowing or understanding why she was a bit disgruntled of like, I don't make me do this on my birthday, but now she yeah. find you know, she gets it and she gets into the more higher spirits and begins to fuck around, walk around, dance around and unpacks, you know, some of the gifts and, and, and that. Um, is there anything you guys want to do? She does approach your, your group as a, for a little bit, and it's good to see you it's all. It's been a while. Us when she uh, approaches no, us. Is... Where is, oh, um... okay. Yeah. Dickhead. Mm, don't know. Good it's birthday. Merrins. So, is that what you say? Did Sorry? I do it right? Ha- ha- happy. Happy, ha- birthday. happy birthday. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, how have you been? It's been so long. Well enough. Hey, Kess, how have you been? Uh, <laughs> um Ta-da. fine waited question should i not ask oh well you know we went to sea for a bit and... yeah, yeah. Uh, the, you were on uh 
Yeah, that's. I mean, that's last I heard. You were on a ship. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't it you, Kest? That was like, oh, we're gonna be pirates or something. Yeah, I got turned into a statue. Sorry. Yeah, I got turned into a statue. That was fun. He died. Only for like the last though. week or so. I'm sorry, yeah. I asked. Uh, I was only dead for a little bit. You know what this calls for? Oh, but and who are, who are your friends? Uh, who are you? Sure, look at Kai. <laughs> Kai just just tossed a handshake. Like, oh, that's a heavy... strong grip. <laughs> oh, that's a happy birthday. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Pleasure. My name is Kai. Kai, nice to meet you. Uh, how did you get the uh, Celestine? Nice to meet you as well. How did you two get the pleasure of uh, wow. walking into this group of? I'm not gonna fucking have a conversation myself. Okay, fuck you. Okay, uh, go on. <laughs> go on. The, the 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 pleasure of of finding these people as company. Oh, Celestine, why don't you explain? <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Wow, oh, no, I just so fucking slip, slip and slide to becoming the least favorite guest. Yeah. Yeah. How's you from like top two to fucking last place? Celestia so overnight. Will, will look at Kai and just cast Celestia will cast death. exposition. Um, <laughs> Champions League to really no, no. overnight. Celestia will. Uh, well, um, I don't know about Kai, but I uh, met them on the ship that they were on for a little bit and uh, helped them on a bit of a. You know, they had to fetch a certain item that I helped them with and decided that uh, these people aren't bad company. And now, uh, you know, I'm going to stay in Eldalon for a little while and uh, live the city life. And pleasure. Because that's interesting. What about you, Kai? Um, I got to know them a few days before that. Uh, hmm. My captain sent me to, to land to uh, check some things for the, for the ship, but also look, look for the party. Just to make sure that uh, I had the whole group together, so they. Uh, I'm sure you're were... ready to get rid of them, huh? I mean, some of them are better than the others. I'm but, kidding. You know, I didn't really mean for you to answer the question. You know, God, what's wrong with you? It's so rude. I mean, <laughs> who says I was speaking the truth when I said? I like you. You're funny. Don't worry. She says that to everyone. I do. The more you pay, the more, uh, you know, Funny. detailed the compliments. Or she get. says it. <clears throat> or she that's, likes you. That's true. That's, that's good to know. That Not today, though. Today I have a day off. Um, and it, uh, she just kind of, like, keeps talking, and, and she'll walk up to, to Daigon and uh, um, uh, just kind of... Uh, wait, did you, like, write your name on the gift? Like, oh, this is from yeah. Daigon? Okay, she'll walk up yeah. to you and just kind of, thank you for the gift, uh... I've read it already, but it's it's one of my favorites, and and I I really like this. Um, what is this? This 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 this, this like page. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will draw quickly a picture of one of the sirens. So draw like mermaid lady, slightly more flattering than a, what they actually looked like when they got all creepy. Oh, I show her the picture and then point to the tail because I'm assuming that's where that's... the scale most likely came from. Very freaky and cool. Thank you. I like it. And at this point, uh, the room will kind of fall quiet as this large box gets pushed into the room. And Pleasure kind of looks around and just rolls her eyes and is like, oh, here we go. Please tell me you're going to make him roll for, roll for performance. Oh, absolutely. You need uh, a performance Brooks, check. <laughs> what happens when you push the lid off the box? What, what, what jumps out? So, first of all, Brooks comes out and says, Brooks... Fully dressed. There he is. Smiles at pleasure. <laughs> Will then immediately tear off his shirt and trousers. Will walk over and in front of pleasure will turn into pleasure in the same outfit. And then give her a lap dance. Now that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, roll Would you like to dance? Could I? Absolutely. And, Would uh, I when he talks? But I, when he does that, cast fairy fire on both of them, so they, they, the both of them has a nice, have a nice violet. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Yeah. fireflies <laughs> around the air. Yeah, uh, make a performance we just start, check. I've got, uh, got advantage on them, so do I get advantage for disguising <laughs> myself? Uh, no, because that doesn't really impact your uh, your moves, does it? Uh, I mean, it's a natural nineteen, so twenty-five. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. she like. This is, yeah, this is probably as good as we would have gotten. 
uh, to the point where uh, Pleasure just sits down and is just very much having a good time. Starts, like, drinking, pours, like, shots into your mouth and then in her mouth, and this is, you guys are just getting fucking shit-faced at this point. Uh, to the point where... Um, a couple hours go by, and the party kind of dies down, because uh, it, it it is a weekday. Um, and eventually, you all had some drinks, but but not, like, excessively. Uh, and, and Pleasure kind of goes, All right, thank you all for coming, appreciate it. Uh... And then just sits down and just... Oh, we need to be on the lookout for Father Eckle. Like, he said 8 p.m. So if we're partying She'll, like, way look into at, the, uh, at the clock morning. on the wall. And, uh, oh, that's... Wait, is he already? And then you can see, like, in the corner, Father Eckle just sits in the booth. just kind of like... Awkwardly. Like, <laughs> He's like, I didn't know I'm crashing a birthday. After, the, after the hour passes... The priest turn... is at the stripper party. He is. The yes. bishop in the brothel. Let's <laughs> go. I, I turn back into me after an hour, so... Um... Although he's, right. what, he's a he's a priest of Joaquin, or yeah, yeah, he's probably got pretty loose morals. <laughs> uh, pleasure will kind of like look at you all, uh, look at y'all's group. I have wait, I've had way too much to drink. I'll be in my room if anyone wants to at some point accompany me throughout the night. The, the room's unlocked. Goodbye, goodbye, bye bye. And then <laughs> she just goes <laughs> upstairs. Unlocked. She just goes upstairs. Feel like upstairs. that room will be full to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone else. Like, all the guests have left, really. Yeah, she, like, says that to your group in particular. Lazarus? I take, don't take it back. Once we've spoken to Father <laughs> Ackle, it's... Um, That's what you'd be rude not to. Oh. I think I would have maybe seen Father Ackle come in at mm -hmm. some point, and just so he wasn't awkwardly sitting there by himself for, like, an hour and a half, probably would have come back <laughs> with him quite early on. <laughs> I mean, it's Just not like Father Ackle sat there like, because like he's he's he's, okay. he's not like he's out like you know he's not uncomfortable. He's kind of didn't get involved. But he sat there and he enjoyed the oh, show sorry. that Brooks put on. He's kind of sat the there. He's he's sipping on sipping on a wine. Just kind of okay. Then I'll didn't go want, in the group. Uh, didn't want to intrude on the uh, the festivities, so I decided to just kind of wait it out. Um, you didn't want me around here, did you? Well, I I just um. Quick chat with with the people that I do know, and so if you and uh, what's your name, Celeste? Celeste? Yeah, if you and Celeste could just kind of keep yourselves just, just for like ten minutes most, and then I'll I'll be out of your hair, and you can continue. They could go to baby. Pleasure's room. Kai's guy's <laughs> like ten minutes. That's plenty of time. And Kai goes upstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, he's done it. He's done it. <laughs> plenty of time. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is this video of turtles fucking, dude? No, oh, my god. <laughs> so, Celeste kind of just sits at the bar. Uh, and... that, that's just like, just downstairs, you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste sits at the bar, and you all kind of like gather in this, um, in this booth, and Father Echo goes, All right, um, didn't realize it was a party tonight. If, if I knew, I would have probably said a, a different time for us to meet up, but, uh, yeah, the party ended, and, and I'm still here, so might as well do this now. Um, all right. As you may have noticed, the uh, number of guards has uh, drastically increased in the city. I would... Um, firstly, I would... Well, we had a visit a few days ago. Um... The Empress came to the city to, um, you know, just a routine checkup on, 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 on her colony and how things were going. And, well, let's, she got informed about the whole, um, you know, spiderweb situation and Kron's involvement, and she wasn't too pleased. Sorry. And immediately relieved Kron. Sorry? Is that a dragon outside? I guess so. She I relieved no Kron idea. of her position, both in the council, but also as general of the Blue Sentinels. Um, us as the council tried to argue, um, tried to plead with the Empress that she didn't really have much choice in the matter, but she, the Empress didn't really want to hear it. Um... 
Well, um, council's currently down a member. Um, her duties as general of the guard have been taken over by her second in command, uh, Sergeant Rog. Um, don't know if you had the pleasure of meeting him. He's all right. He's, uh, you fed him. He's not part of, you know, them. So, city's still in good hands, but given he was Kron's second in command, he did know, he does know a little bit about the th threat we face, and he took it a little more seriously and upon himself to make sure that all guards in the city were thoroughly feted and uh, up, the, up the number, just in case. Um, Kron would like to meet with you all in her, in her home down in the Temple District um, as soon as possible. Um, preferably, you know, tonight, but obviously if, if you're busy, uh, the morning will suffice as well. Um, the rest of the council will also be present. Um, they have been checked in the meantime, and we are very convinced that none of them are in any way, shape, or form associated with our enemy. So, well, that, that's, that's it, really. That's just Kron wants to have a meeting with you in our house, with the rest of the council and myself included. Uh, preferably Remind tonight. For one second. Preferably tonight, uh, but if not tonight, then tomorrow. Remind me for one second, out of character. Because out of character, we knew that Kron had been part of Saucy Spider Gang, mm -hmm. but then had left, and because it was like too much, not for me, mm. bad vibes, she right? That, that was our understanding. Not necessarily she didn't left, leave. But she just helped us while in their employ. Still yeah. part of it. Oh, but so they think she's out. still part she's of them, but she's agent. not. Okay. They are probably okay. well aware that they that she is. Okay. Okay. Be yeah, because <laughs> yeah, like they. Just, she only did what she did for them because of the fact that they threatened her family. Blackmail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just making sure my memory is correct. Um, uh, are you willing to meet with her tonight, or should we do this tomorrow morning? I'll kind of look at everyone. Council, the council um, um, is gathered there already, but I can I can go there and just tell them that you're busy. Work better because everyone's done. I mean, tonight but... works for me, but yes, I don't speak for everyone. I'm I'm happy to talk to her tonight. I'm fine, but I have had a fair bit to drink. That's you're probably the person that is affected by that the least, to be honest. I don't know if you saw how many shots that woman was giving me, as herself. I mean, it's up to you. If you, don't, if you don't think that tonight's the, the move for you, then... If, if we want to go tonight, I will go tonight. I just will probably avoid saying anything stupid. It'll be fine. You won't talk yeah. at all, then. So nothing different there. He kind of, like, chuckles. All right, well, uh, if fine. you want to accompany me, then, uh, the, the Kron's house is uh, in, in, in the Temple District, uh, just like a couple blocks away from the main square. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be going. Let's go. No. So Leslie kind of um, looks at you all, leave, and uh, just kind of like, bye. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, but... yeah, because I was just going to say, I'm assuming Kai and Celeste aren't joining us. I will get up and go over to Celeste, and I will take an eye patch out of my backpack, and I'll mm -hmm. hand it to her and say, just hang this one on your uh, doorknob so I know it trims yours. Hey. She kind of like looks, kind of like flustered, oh, but yeah. also like, okay. And then, yeah, <laughs> we'll head out. All right. So you guys head out to, and this is the first time you've been invited to General Kron's like home. Uh, normally the meetings were always either in, in the emissary, uh, the Empress, the Empress emissary's home in the like council, to, uh, council meeting room or at the keep. This time... You uh, you travel to the temple district to um, not a small house, but it's also not a villa. Just a very you know very very average townhouse. Look look at yeah, you know, just a townhouse kind of kind of vibe. And um, Akul walks up to the door and knocks on it, and the door swings open. And you can see in the doorway stands General Kron. Is wearing these like normal commons clothes, uh, her hair kind of like braided down the, the back of her head. Uh, 
door in one hand, like a half drunken uh, bottle of, of whiskey in the other. Oh, there you go, her and Brooks match. Evening. Evening. Come in. Evening. Wish we could have uh, met under better circumstances, but well, here we are. <laughs> And she kind of just like guides you through her house to a table at the back room. And you see at that table also sits Captain Blackpaw, Peter Peter Riz, who pretty much went straight here after the party. And Blackpaw as well. <laughs> so they've also had a couple of half, drinks. Half the people here have yeah. all just been at the party. Oh, yeah. But you also uh, see... Uh, About the House of Lords. <laughs> you also see... Uh, do, 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 what's her name? Uh, oh, Primus Dalastari, um, the the owner of the uh, merchant uh, alliance. Uh, Great lady, we pissed off early in the Primus campaign. Primus Dalastari. Kron kind of sits down and Ackle Maybe as well at the table, and and Kron. Well, ragtag fuck witch. She's slurring mm. her words a little bit. Um, Our real name. Seems we've got some shit to discuss, don't we? <laughs> I've been sacked. No longer part of the council. No longer part of the Sentinels. But I'll be damned if I sit out in the fight against the Nightwebs. Script fuckers will guess we're coming to them. And I'll have a part to play in it. So help me gods if I don't. But. Meantime. Set my family away. As far out of their reach as possible. Now we just need to find a way to. Get back at them. And with that, we've, we've, we've done the background checks on all of these people, including Primus Alastari, and we're convinced no one here is associated in any way, shape, or form. Uh, she, she can take the lead on this one. And she kind of sits back and just starts drinking again. And the Primus gets up, and this is um, the Primus, this pale skin, white hair, uh, so bright that it almost like lights up the room a little bit. Uh, her hair is done up in a bun, and her pale green eyes kind of scan the party. Well, first things first, it's a pleasure to formally meet. I believe before today, all we've done is exchange looks, and you uh, cleaned the pest out of my basement that I wasn't aware of at the time. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm glad that any confusion about my alliances has been cleared up since then. So... Anyway, the only um, way we know how to identify a nightweb is by looking at their tattoos, correct? Yes. At a well, glance, yeah. Then there is the question, what if it is covered up or uh, with clothing or makeup? Well, I have an answer. Let's just say that uh, the gen... <coughs> I mean, Kron, managed to snag herself a member of the nightwebs who... Unfortunately, didn't live to tell the tale, but uh, I digress. The tattoos they are use are using are are laced with magic, um, very, very subtly, to the point where uh, you really need to put a lot of effort in trying to detect it. A normal just detect magic spell or anything is, is not able to to um, identify it. But I did. And the, I do not think that people that have these tattoos are aware of, of this particular uh, trace of magic. They're laced with a scrying spell, hidden deep within, almost undetectable. Oh, so the Nightwebs are aware of any of their members' location, what they're discussing at all times. Which is troublesome. Yeah. Does that not include... Ron here, or...? Yes, which is why she's not hiding, which is... But her fa she sent her family away, but she's, I mean, yeah. Yes, but I believe Darren's probably saying this conversation we're having right now. Right now? Oh, no, 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 no. This particular room, we've, we've, we've done the... Uh, we've done we've done the protections. Um, Let's just say that this particular room... We don't... You won't have to worry. They... Mm. I, f I feel we are walking into their plan, no matter what we do. That does seem to be um, um, the case, but 
the fact that their tattoos are laced with certain traits of magic does give us a chance. I doubt they chance are aware. what, exactly? More easily de detecting who is part of them, who isn't. How and familiar then? are you with uh, my people, the Kalashtar? Not at all. Oh, no, no, Being no. honest. Do I know anything? Uh, probably not. This is definitely uh, not. if. Well, make a yeah, make make a make a history check. Fuck it. See if you can get some exception rules. Yeah, fuck it. That's six. <laughs> history. Uh, eleven. Okay. My people are um are not like the normal people we um i share his body with a a quarry spirit quarry being a uh, native spirits to the realm of dreams which gives me uh, special abilities and special uh special um powers I suppose i believe that uh, there is an item uh in this world hidden somewhere i could manipulate and use combined with my powers to essentially create objects that will function as night web detectors how familiar are you with uh, artifacts of the sundering let me ask oh shit the historical items but of great power but apart from that Never seen one. They're pretty hard to find. Well, there is one artifact that I believe I can manipulate with my my roots in the realm of dreams, the, the plane of dreams, uh, to kind of mold it into a way where we can detect the magic laced deep within the tattoos. To give us the edge on knowing exactly whether someone we are talking to or are around is a part of their organization, it at least gives us a bit more of an advantage knowing who to trust and who not to trust, which I think would be a very important first step in taking the fight to them. Would you agree? Yeah. This is agreeable. Sure. I mean, that's a start, right? But uh, I know I don't want to. I don't want to sort of you know snitch or create any kind of suspicion but elazarnia for example has his own association with the nightwebs without any tattoo or i know some such so like, but like i said it's a start and if... forgive me if this comes off as disrespectful but are we not risking considering the scale of the nightwebs operation is this not borderline civil war at this point no i would disagree Civil war would imply that uh, the innocent bystanders, the innocent civilians, are involved in the war, which right now, in this instance, they would function as collateral mainly for them, while we try to keep the people safe. Right, but we know already that Nightwebs have drawn... Well, they had the whole of a keep worth of soldiers that somehow they'd recruited through you say whatever that means and they have to use. Kind of like looks down at the floor, very like shamed. Somehow they found found a way to recruit into their force and and use, and now, well, that's one example. I, we don't know the scale if they have multiple military installations that are under some form of night web command command even if it's only one commanding well officer aware, surely which is why this is a first step we are as a council going to take the fight to them not right now not right away but we are making the preparations in order for us to be able to do so one of those preparations would be finding and retrieving this artifact and seeing if i can work my magic on it to use it to our will 
Now comes... While she's saying that, I signed a kiss. Uh, she hasn't said the artifact yet. Should maybe we figure... Someone ask her what that is first? Or we debate the ethics uh, of this? You, you, would you say that you think while you sign? Yeah. She just I'm like, kind of, it's like she, I, I'm saying it as in time with my hands yeah, so when like, I'm signing it. Without like, looking at you, she'll just uh, respond. I was getting to that. I just do a bit of a like, duh, like, ugh, like a creepy <laughs> reaction. Demon. Yeah. <laughs> as you know, a long time ago, Great Sundering happened, and it came with. Uh, it mainly affected the uh, Empire continent of uh, Kaldalar, but also uh, some traces of it are found in uh, in the kingdoms. Uh, some of it uh, created some of this power that came with the Sundering, found its way into materials or items or materials that were made into items later on. This particular item I am looking for is uh, the Helm of Aros, uh, named after the God of Wisdom. Um said to be bestowed with the wisdom of the god of wisdom himself. The artifact is not at any known location, but is said to be claimed by someone that is pure-hearted and intends to do good in the heart of his forest. His forest, being a place, well, at least one of you might be familiar with. And, uh, if I uh, wouldn't, was informed correctly, I know at least one of you is from Sigalia, no? That would be me. What do you know of the Whispering Woods? What does Brooks know of the Whispering Woods, Mr. DM? Uh, you know that the... Uh, I'm not even going to make you roll for this. Is that uh, you, as a child, were taught not to meddle with those woods because they were very much um, seen as a holy site. Uh, specifically for worshippers of Aros. Uh... Druids that worship him would, would be there, but also clerics in the form of, like, uh, a lot of, um, what are they called? Like, more, more giant-like races wander around uh, those woods. So you were just kind of always told to, like, you know, leave it be. Don't meddle in the woods because it's none of your, you know, that's that's a holy site. Back, stay away kind of thing. Cass and I might also have vaguely heard of it while we were traveling in Sigalia. Yeah, probably. You we definitely never a, went there. <laughs> also be aware of its of, of how important those woods are to some yeah. uh, religious practices in yeah. Sigalia. I cast exposition yeah. and relay this to the group. Mm -hmm. So, well, um, your name is Brooks, right? I. You are uh, very well aware of, of the importance of, of those woods to Aros, in particular, um, I would assume. So, we uh, have it on good authority that um, this person that currently possesses the helm resides there. Obviously, feel free to refuse, but if you were willing to take a small trip of continent small to, uh, you know to fetch continental to fetch <laughs> is Dagan thinking this like in her head or is this uh, is this yeah. a thing I'm like oh just you know just a wee trek across the ocean no biggie I can <laughs> transport you there within a day's time now if need to be is this Kalash town listening to what everyone's thinking oh yeah uh oh <laughs> oh do you oh. want us to say what we're thinking right now <laughs> no unless, unless, has, unless it's I, like important or I mean, it's. I mean, I assume that you flashbacks. know. What no, I feel like in situations like this, it's like there's background chatter, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a last one I, is. I assume you know exactly what Brooks is thinking about right now. Hmm? I assume you know exactly what Brooks is thinking about right now. Go on. Uh, backstory things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's kind of. And I understand that. Some of you might not want to, which is why I'm willing to, you know, paycheck is quite substantial, first and foremost. You'll be doing your part, more than your part, in securing the future of our society as a whole. And, um, well, here's is quite nice this time of year. <laughs> as far as transportation goes, I can get you there and back within several hours. I just think, now that I know she's hearing thoughts, just in my head, jump back to... I'll still sign it so the group knows where it's coming from. She's not answering nothing. Um, I'm just like, 
you said someone owns it in these woods. Can, leaving out the name for any reason, or you just know a person has it? I don't know. It is just... So it could just be laying around in the woods, not owned by anyone. Would, yeah. Uh, well, the, the, the stories say that it got claimed by someone pure of heart years and years ago who intended oh, to work okay, with okay. it. Uh, I don't know if that person is real. I don't know if that person, if he was real, is still alive or she. I don't know. Uh, all I know is that I'm fairly confident that those woods will be where the I answers lie. Obviously, I'm not telling you to make your decision right now. Uh, if you want to sit on it for a few days, think about it. Uh, you know, so just just know that as soon as you decide to to do this, uh, I can get you there within a few hours. And if you have a way to uh, find a message, send a message my way, I can get you back within the, that same time span. Uh, no problem. Can I insight check her? Yeah, absolutely. and I want to know if does she genuinely believe that this is going to help mm -hmm. or does there seem like there's an ulterior motive there like. make an insight check oh what dice to roll this is big <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give you advantage purely because Lazarin would be very fucking on he's, he's on, on edge on, on it, he's on like... shit because it's regarding the night webs okay it's not 23 um Primus Dalastari genuinely believes that this could give them the first edge they need in a long process of trying to rid the world of. You the mean nightmares. the general? You mean Kron, not the? Not no, 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 no. The Primus. Primus, Primus. Oh, Primus. Oh, sorry, I missed that part. Yeah, Primus is talking to us. I will just sort of look and say, "There's always the danger that we're playing into their hands. They out-resource us. They have more than us." Who knows how deep they go. I know, but we, I can't, we can't just sit idly by. We do nothing, then we play into their hand as well, because there's nothing that will uh, try to oppose them, right? True. There, it's a risk. I, I feel like it's a risk worth taking. Unless we get stopped and they then have a artifact to the Sundering on their side. Well, maybe another one. Who knows what they have. <sighs> if this, you know. it's, uh, like I said... Well, is this this fight comes with its risks, but this is the first step of many we can take to try and turn the tide. And if you are willing, will help us with this. This, in theory, does not bring you any closer to them. If anything, it will take you further away, because the majority of their actions seem to take place on this continent. Uh, it, it is merely trying to find out whether a certain object is still in the, its last known location, and if it is, try and retrieve it. From what I hear, the people in and around the Whispering Woods are nothing but kind, are, 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 are very religious people, uh, but very, you know, pure of heart, they want to do good. So if you plead your case, I'm sure they're, they're willing to at least consider your request. Without, you know... The, in theory, there shouldn't be any harm coming your way on this trip. Then again, that is in theory, you know? Not harm to myself and my friends here that I'm worried about. It's the ramifications what we do to others. It's all rising on this. More than we could know. I understand. I'll, I'll sign to Kess. We have to wait at least a day before answering because we got to get our items from Vera. So should we just tell her we'll have an answer in 24 hours? Man, you, 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 you can take a few days to, to you know, it's not something that needs to happen yeah. right now. It is just Let us something think about for you to, 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 you know, think on over the next well, however much time. And if you decide to not do it, then, you know, I'll, I'll try to find my luck in, in some other people that might be willing to do it instead. Can I think a question without asking it verbally? I mean, I did. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm going to think about... I'm trying to think, how do I... How do I word this without giving the game away? <laughs> I don't know, man. I haven't made anyone else deafen for this entire campaign. So <laughs> <laughs> if you want people to deafen, just... Uh... We'll deafen, we'll do it. 
Can I can I ask a for question? Literally a to sentence? Ira for literally like 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, sure. We'd hear her response, so it's literally just definitely. Yeah, you question. will hear her response. Okay. Oh wait, shit. This is the first time that I've made everyone deaf in this campaign. All right. I'm going to in my head think before we accept would it be possible for you to find out what happened the last time I was in Sigalia and whether or not I'm whether or not there is a warrant for my arrest she'll like look at you but she's not speaking this time given the uh, the nature of your question you'll hear in the back of your head already taken the necessary measures because I knew I was going to be asking you all this question um, I don't know the exact details but last time I checked there is no price on your head in that side of the world at least I'll just think thank you Dutch is talking because she can telepathically communicate and given, yeah, brain the, speak. given the nature brain of speak, Brooke's question, speak. she was Fuck like, she, he probably doesn't want That's me to reply fair. out loud. That's fair. <laughs> like I said, um, take your time. Um, obviously, you've already done way more than we could expect of any of you. Um, given us a lot of good information. Uh, it's just... Um, well, you were on the top of the list of people to ask for this sort of thing at the moment. I understand that that might come with its annoyances, but um, Kron puts a lot of faith in you, and, well, we all do, to be fair. I feel like that needs to be said as well. You've done a lot for the city already, and which is why you are going to be the first people we come to whenever we have requests like this. Well, you know, once in a few days. All right, uh, just come find me in my, uh, my 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 trade company. I'll be around. Use the front door this time. We did the first time. Mm, not all of you. Mm. <laughs> One two of us knew where it was. I just had to on this meeting. Can we? Tron kind of pipes up. Yeah, it's all. Um... Thank you for for for, for coming on such short notice. Um... I was fucked, but, mm, you know, shit happens, I guess. But like, like, like she said, if you don't want to do this, then I totally get that. If you're like, fuck this shit, I'd rather go on holiday, get that too. But it's like she said, you're kind of the, the, the go-to people at the moment when it comes to, uh, you know, this sort of subject matter. After the past few days, what you're offering kind of sounds like a holiday. <laughs> no, Mr. Collins. No, we just got we just got back from a nice little cruise. We just got back from holiday. Hmm. Yeah, because that was relaxing and not at all stressful. Yeah, I wasn't tense at all. <laughs> Father Echo, like when you say that, it's gonna go. <laughs> we'll talk out the specifics and get back to you alright yeah I'll uh I'll be here <laughs> got no job to go back to so I'll be here I'm gonna be nowhere else am I have you consider taking up a hobby drink a hobby no take it drink from it. someone who's drink drinking water. water ah fuck you I hope we head in the morning but Watercolors are nice. All right. Well, that was it. Thank you for, for coming. Um, Fuck I'm going to finish, polish off this bottle and go to bed. With another bottle, probably. We sort of... <laughs> As we start to leave, I'll sort of linger behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'll um, go up to uh, Kron. And so just whisper in her, in her ears and go, Bastard. No matter what happens, this isn't your fault. Learn to forgive yourself. And I walk on. 
fucking is. Be honest, I thought Lazarus was about to go over and whisper and have like a hail hydra moment. <laughs> oh my god. Hail hydra. <laughs> no, not, not when you guys are all here. Yeah, this is the first time you've seen Kron like in this state. Normally she's very like stoic, like her duties before everything else, but like the fact that she got sacked and I'll give her uh, and then as I in a bad place right now. In the, I'll give one of those like silver awkward like pats on the shoulder and... like she's in a she's in a bad spot right now. <laughs> and we all bud. Her career took a turn, <laughs> took a dive. <laughs> Alright, so do you all head back to the friendly joint? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, and you all, uh, you know, you meet up with Kai again, uh, who uh, came back from, uh, from 10 minutes. From, uh, oh, from, from, we got from, a little bit longer uh, than that. Some fun with pleasure. Um, or, I mean, if, if he chooses to fucking spend What's the rest Celeste of the What's Celeste do when we get back? I'm from a pleasure. Anyone? She went to bed. <laughs> Celestia is in Aww. her room. Uh, the Aww. door does seem to be decorated with an eye patch. Hey. Yeah. So those of you that want to go to bed, they can. Those of you that want to spend the night with someone, you can as well. Um, yeah. Is anyone at the bar, manning the bar? A uh, cab is there, still kind of just like vibing, cleaning down the bar. Uh, I'll, I'll just go up to the bar and pull out a gold coin. Uh, Got any bottles of mead, have you, Kev? Yeah, uh, you want the fancy stuff or the uh, shit will get you fucked up stuff? <sighs> They're middle. How much oh, is she worth to you? I could give you, you know, I could mix them up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, give me something fancy. <laughs> Fucking hell. There you go, and hands you a bottle. I'll be uh, a gold for that bottle, please. No, I'll toss in the gold coin and I will uh, head upstairs. Oh. Before everyone disappears, like the group disbands, I go, wait, and I mm -hmm. sign to Kess. Tell Brooks you won the contest. Show him you your coin. Do you go wait, Yeah, like, do I, really? I do. I go like this to you before you go, like, and then I sign to Kess. waving goodbye. <laughs> yeah, show, show Brooks, show Brooks. Okay, you bye, Dargan. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll pull out the coin with a mark on it. I pull out my coin with the mark on it? I pull out my coin with the mark on it, and I and and I do the. I didn't even try playing the game, and I think. Uh, <laughs> I think someone that. may have had a bit of fun of our, our expense. Your expense. Our expense. Your expense. I don't have to pay anything. I'm not paying for you. Well, whoever's having fun, it seemed to be at their expense because that's a lot of gold coins. <laughs> True. True and factual. I did mark it. I did mark it uh, down in my inventory. All the gold coins that I used for this. The f okay, <laughs> no, you're so such a fucking freak, dude. The fact that Daigon <laughs> tells Kess to initiate this conversation, I feel like is enough for Brooks yeah, that's to at a least suspect Daigon. Yeah, that's a giveaway. <laughs> Very emphatically, too. Like, wait, I'm not trying stop, to be wait, subtle about thing. it. Yeah, I'm not trying yeah. to be subtle how, about how it. How like, many coins? I did... all your coins. I just have like a shitty ding grin on my face and like. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, the question is, does Celeste have one coin or two? Because whoever has two coins obviously has a coin that is fake and the real one. I mean, did anyone try and steal the coin off of Celeste after she announced Yeah, it? isn't it Brooks that has the two coins? No, yeah. no Celeste, Celeste, Celeste has two now, because Celeste did take Brooks one and, like, off of Brooks. And then announced it to everyone, and then Brooks, right. in the spirit of the game, see, if I was smarter, else an attempt. Yeah, and as Celeste pulls it, and this is where I signed to Kess. Now, see, this is where if I was smarter... I would have taken that one. And then everyone would have had one and no one would know who the winner was. But I'm not that smart. <laughs> so did that anyone try and you didn't, pick you didn't Celeste? Make it through to the Nope. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you know if Celeste has it. <laughs> have one. If Celeste has two coins, then you can let us know in the morning. I'm not going to let anyone know if she has Yeah, coins. exactly. Game's ruined. I win. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Game's ruined. I win. Uh, you all... Go to bed. Have a good night rest. Um, Cast dip it disappears into uh, the vessel. Mm -hmm. Sea blue. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to read my note as well at some point. No longer a whittle statue. No. Right. Um. Your notes, Alazrin. Sorry. Simply has a location written on it. Oh. Uh, let me quickly whip out. Whip out, all, whip out all map. Down the street. Uh, and it is fucking Sigalia, the Whispering Woods. Yeah, it's in the Woods. Woods. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> God damn it. You're like, son of a bitch. 
It is... 123 Fake Street. Um, Over or under, or spelt as in O-R-E, which you know is the mining guild of this uh, city. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. Book Did you off. not know? It's on the map. I no, thought you it did. Is on there. And it says, um, wait, what's the date today? The 8th, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll, yes. it'll say it yes. the 10th of Septimon. And it'll say um, 2 in the afternoon. And it just has your, your father's initials under it. That's a, long, that's a lot of fucking letters. That is a lot of initials, but they're all, they're all there. Count them. They're all there. Count them. <laughs> Signed A B C D E F G. Basic, a basic. A basic. Hilariously, oh, his name is Archibald. So it does start <laughs> yes. with an A. <laughs> okay. Oh. Does he have? Is it Archibald Barnabas Cornelius Dunbar? No, it's not. But that would be funny. I need to stage him again. All right. So, uh, Bell, is this like Ooh. a I want everyone to deafen moment or? Nah. Okay. Yeah. Not for the twelfth time this session, mm. surely. <laughs> last right. last week was all the crits. This week's all the deafens. So you yep. uh, you pop into your vessel, and Blue is kind of there. He's kind of lounging on one of your uh, couches. Good to see you. Uh, but you were in one piece. You know what I'm trying to say. Good to see you. Hi. Hey. Hi. Thanks for making sure I wasn't broken in transit or anything. I just really can't trust. Post offices these days, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's why I sent a letter home through Dad. You should probably check up on that. It's been a little while. Yeah. Haven't You're had good. a chance. No. What's up? No. Um. Just everything. The fucking statue thing, the the thing with the rot, the everything. It's all just falling apart. Yeah, no, I uh, I get that. It kind of fucking sucks. Um, speaking yeah. of, now that you mention it, uh. A little more digging and oh. well <clears throat> there's a high mountain peak somewhere in the, in the plane of air it is rumored to have completely frozen over because of its uh, altitude but it is said that because of the insanely low temperatures, some of those flowers may have been frozen but to a point where they might be able to be preserved if acting quick enough when, on, when you know, getting them out of the ice cubes they're in. So I'm going to be looking into that a little bit more, but there is hope. That's good news. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Nice. I find out where to go and I don't know if y'all ever want to take a trip to the immense plane of air you know it's a good excuse as any sure they wouldn't be yeah, I promise you it'll be it. as exciting as uh, fighting Umberly but no that would, I'd rather not <laughs> after that it might feel like a treat to be honest yeah get out of the humidity well, still so a bit, just <clears throat> icy. A lot of wind. Mm. Tell him to pack. Okay. You know, some like a coat or something. <laughs> Will do. If you uh, you know, I I I can't pretend to know what it's like to be petrified, but I I'm sure it sucks. So you know, if anything's bothering you, you know where to find me, right? Talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You need anything else? Nah. No, I've been rest. crashing on your couch for like this past week and it's very comfortable. So do you mind if I just. Yeah, stay. It's, <laughs> it's a great couch. I chose really well. 
Might have to get one. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of lounges on the couch. And eventually, uh, Kes, you're exhausted. Like you've ah, been unpetrified yeah. today, and it's 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 all been a lot. And you just you just kind of as soon as your 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 body hits your bed, you're out pretty much kind of thing. She's like, ugh. Um, instant meditation. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Morning comes. <laughs> Do we go as far as saying that, it's, you know, Kes takes the full eight hours of sleep instead of the four-hour meditation? Because damn. <laughs> Absolutely. She's staying in that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she like, I'll wake up in the morning and be awake before Kes and just have a moment and be like, this is really fucking weird. This has like, never happened This has before. never happened before. <laughs> exactly. So you all wake up the next morning. Um, Davian wakes up and then Celestia is still honk -shoeing. Um, but you do have an appointment to go get your, get your reward, but uh, should we save that? Uh, actually, we'll do one more no, thing. we should do it. Do one we more thing. We should do it. We should do it. Yeah, okay, true. You all kind of gather downstairs, and um, today's the day where uh, Kai's first official day as captain of the Porcupine. And uh, you have some rewards due as well. So, uh, should we say that you make your way to the porcupine first thing in the morning? Oh, yeah. Give me loot. Okay. As you get to the porcupine, you already see Captain Vera is there, kind of unloading her, her stuff from the ship, and, uh... Ah! Morning! Uh, good to see you all. Um, do have your rewards ready for you. I, I put them on my desk, so just, just follow me. Kai, I'm not giving you shit, because you get to captain my ship. Is that a fair trade? I mean, if you're gone, let's bring it in there. It's mine anyway. Which is why I'm taking all my shit being. out. If you remember Smart anything. Ass. Right. Plus, I mean, you being the captain means that you get to keep the majority of the treasure you're fine. So just, you know, work extra hard. It's up to you. Right, anyway. Uh, I laid out some rewards that I thought you in particular might appreciate. A little bit of, you know, looking at you, how, how you guys um, perform in, 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 in fights and, and, and whatnot. So for Jax, my good friend, and she'll hand Jax a... Uh, some kind of uh, uh, bottle decorated with dragon scales uh, and just hands it to him and say, it's a dragon vessel. Uh, which uh, it is the stirring variety, so um, she'll cast exposition so you guys also know what it does because Soko isn't here. Um, which uh, da -da 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 -da, it's basically kind of similar to the alchemy jar, but it can also be filled with things like healing potion, potion of fire breath, oh. shit like that. Infinite healing potions! Well, Columbia's once a day, but... <laughs> in infinite in that we have them once every day, so forever. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really cool. uh, yeah, so that, that's, that goes to to, to, to Ax. Um, Lazarin. You're a religious type. Did you, you say it? So. You, uh, what, what weapon do you use right now? Like, I use a rapier. A rapier, right. Well, if you're ever in the mood to maybe swap out that rapier for something a little more sturdy and she hands you the devotee's sensor which is a flail but it has like um a bunch of uh it's perforated with a bunch of tiny holes and it's a sensor in the sense of like oh like the religious the things yeah, yeah, it yeah. Can, it, yeah, yeah and it can it can basically you know it's like a truck but also um if you spend some time with it you get this you know decide what the word is to, is going to be to activate it, and um, the flail will emanate a thin cloud of incense, a uh, small radius, uh, just patches you and your your friends up. It's a small amount, but you know it's it's passive. Giving a more healing. Go fuck yourselves. Uh <laughs> Literally, it's a one d four of extra healing every turn. At the end of my turn, yeah. I could give it to Amazing. ten, feet, yeah. ten yeah. feet around me. It's so basically it's you're making him more of a target. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw this and I was like, "Fuck it, this is this is Koiba. This is the a DM is making you more of a target." <laughs> yeah, it's great because if I just don't equip her and never use it, lol. All right. <laughs> if you don't want to use it, you don't use it. 
You're a um, for Daigon. Couldn't help but notice on uh, the fight night we had here that, uh, well, Brooks kind of, I wouldn't say played dirty, but wasn't exactly nice. Uh. <laughs> and she'll hand you this ball that seems to be made of a bunch of like steel uh, steel bands. The iron bands of Bilaro. Um, oh, fuck you. <laughs> do you know what these are, uh, Ethan? I do. <laughs> is, this like, is this like manners from Critical Role? <laughs> it's uh, a rusty iron sphere, about three inches in diameter and weighs about a pound. I, don't, I think I know what this is, actually. Uh, and it's basically... Yeah, you do. You can, you can yeah. chuck the ball and it will open up in a bunch of like metal bands and you can basically yep. just it, it, fucking... it is manners yeah it is manners yep yeah there you go what was it yeah called i think again? i almost got them for one of the one shots it, it's I the iron it's okay. basically the last you know that one scene in dr going. strange where the fucking <clears throat> restraints click onto the bad guy yeah it's like that it's basically yeah. that yeah and it works I on you, uh, huge or smaller creatures, so you can you can do this to like oh, pretty shit. fucking big big things. Um, for Kes, I have a bell branch, and uh, she hands you uh, a silver like tool shaped like a tree branch, and it has small golden bells strung around it. Um, what you can do with this is uh, it has a certain amount of charges. You can use it three times a day, I believe. Um, but you can detect all kinds of nasty creatures, you know, aberrations, celestials, constructs, elementals, fey, fiends, undead, within a certain space around you. But also, um, have some free protection from creatures of that mind, of that, of that kind. No. Cool. Um, for... See. For you, Davian. Uh, wait, does Davian already have like a? Wait, does Davian already have like a, a, a magic cloak or no? Yes. Shit. Okay, that one yes, goes to Brooks then. That one goes to Brooks. Never mind. Um. Oh, so I get leftovers? <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just giving you shit. Uh, for Davian, I have this ring. Um, uh, it's a ring of evasion. Just, uh, you know, say that uh, you try to dodge something, doesn't really work out, you can, you know, this ring might give you the extra push you need to dodge it properly anyway. And then Brooks, um, you seem like a flashy, flashy guy, right? You, you like... When the time's appropriate. Mm, yeah, and hands you a mantle. Uh, a mantle of spell resistance. Okay. People try to cast spells at you. Uh, they might have to try a little harder. Okay. That's pretty pog. Right, is that my debt paid? Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose so. I mean... Be good. I did die, but... Well, that's not really my fault, is it? I'm pretty sure in the contract we had a bit of a clause of, like, uh, not liable for any sort of uh, bodily harm that came your way, so. All right. So it's bodily harm. Ragtag fuckwits. It's been a, an absolute pleasure, and obviously, <laughs> perhaps we'll meet again in the future about, uh, you know, part two to this trident business, but for now, I need to do some research. An absolute pleasure. Kai, I swear to all that is holy, if you damage my ship. Yeah, they prepare it before she finds out. Just like shoots a look your way. Also. <laughs> I have a question actually, while you're both in the same room. Are you single? Does Celestia stay with the ship or does she stay with the captain? Does that makes sense. Because she's a first mate, but is she your first mate or is she the ship's first mate? Well, she yeah. was my first mate, but she also decided that she wanted some some to take a leave of absence, so she's going to be a study. So I suppose it's up to Kai to find a new first mate, really. Not it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that all works out. I need to stay around the city anyway for a little bit. No, oh, Dragonborn number four looks all right. Uh, 
Or think about it. What happened to our friends from uh, Boldville or whatever? They're, still um, they're out and about. Okay. Uh, some of them actually uh, want to talk to you at some point, Kai, because some of them are quite keen oh, yeah. sticking around, becoming a part of this sh ship's crew. Uh, including, Find the first mate. Very good. including their former captain, uh, Jackson Keir. He seemed very keen to uh, not be a captain for once and just kind of help around as a... He feels indebted to, to the ship for being a sticker out of that island, so... But I'll leave that to you. That makes things easier. With that, I'm going to take my leave. Uh, I'm not really good at goodbyes, so I'll just see you when I see ya. Take it easy. A good one. You know where to find me. at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, if, uh, you know, and I'll be at the Weeping Mug for the foreseeable future, so... And with that, she takes her leave. You all have uh, a magic item to add to your arsenal. Yeah. It's time to say goodbye to Kai, who's been a part Aww. of his, a part of his uh, no. adventuring party for the last no. two weeks or so uh, in game. That is, uh, and has been of great use and and has been a great addition to the party, both in and out of game. Um, Give Kai a very is there careful. Kai wants to hug. say before he uh, says his goodbyes. Yeah, or d well, do before he says his goodbyes. It might not be as fleshy is the stuff you just got but i made some things for you Ooh. and um out of the coral he grabbed when he uh, became a shark he mm -hmm. has made some so he carved some little things for everyone oh that's so cute um, so he uh walks up to jacks gives him the old fire shake and and gives him the little a small little made out of blue coral uh in the shape of like a small little pepper box. Aww. Aww. <laughs> With underneath it has like some kind of, of engraving of a um they they all have this little 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 engraving of like just a turtle head. <laughs> it's nice. a little little as a little little reminder to everyone. He then goes to Brooks, does the same, but Brooks gets a small red coral uh tankard. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my inventory. Drunky. Um, this one and this one. Um, he goes to Daigon. Um, he's like, it isn't as fancy as some of the other ones I made, but I tried to make something that, that, that fits. And he gives a small yellow, out of yellow coral made uh, spear. Cute. I'm trying to to make something for everyone. Uh, oh. He goes to um, Davian, and he's like, "I tried something that was ends up a little bit out of my reach, so it might look a little bit, hmm, but it's a yeah, uh, <laughs> a red coral, a, something that should go for a uh, Shubel stork. So he made a oh. small little, small little, <laughs> little, 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 little new. Oh, no, um, yeah." Oh, who kind of hops up to you and just kind of like gives you, you know. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> he goes to a Lazarin. Like, I know we haven't talked too much the last two weeks. <clears throat> but I've, I've seen you do something back in the after the fight that inspired me. And he gives you a very bigger very simple looking, I made out of yellow coral coin ah. to kind of mm. go for like a gold coin, but it has an encryption on both sides. On one side, it says, um, life and death are parts of a grand circle or great grand cycle. And on the other side, it says with one leading to the other and then back again. As you can mean, meaning that even if things die, there's always a, a, a way to return it. Oh, um, mm -hmm. And then he walks to uh, to Cass. Like, no, it has been rough the last <laughs> few days. In what I have always learned is that when times are rough, did you have to find joy in the little things? to appreciate the bigger things again. One of those things that helped for me is music. And he gives you 
out of made out of blue coral, a small little flute. Oh. Oh. It's like, like it's like Christmas, guys. Like yeah. you know, you you you've liked, you know, you can you can learn some sea shanties and play them. <laughs> and Aki goes a little bit closer, and the noise that literally shook shit out of a lantern. <laughs> I see that <then>, uh... <laughs> always <laughs> bullied. <laughs> As he then comes back, and he's just like, if you ever need some help, then <clears throat> if you think I might be around, or if you might think, oh, this might, I okay, might be able to help with this a little bit. I, I know Alessrin can send messages. I'm not sure how far they can go, or <laughs> whatever, but I'm just a message away. You, um, it has been a long time since I got close to people in a short period of time and i'm uh proud to at least on my side call you friends and give him a very careful hug so i don't get cut by any of the corals <laughs> on the shell you ever find yourself docked in Eldalon, of course uh i mean it's worth checking the giant right and oh, if we ever if we ever I cross paths again we'll gladly buy you a drink <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you will. Of course you will. <laughs> oh, nice to know we all have something in common. <laughs> I will. Eskimo um... brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, give Kai a <laughs> sort of like half. You see, it's like a geode rock. Um, with his complete uncut. I say, to remember us by, it's not nothing too sentimental, but it can look nice on a shelf from a lake a bit far from here. And I'll, um, I'll say, travel well. Just make sure it doesn't fall on your head in a storm or something, like when you're walking under the shelf and then the ship tilts and the rock falls <laughs> off, smacks you in the head, that could be dangerous. Might have to go by to the the lady that makes my hat has to ask if she can put a little of cushion in it, so it will be fine. <laughs> Wise. All right, well, have safe travels, and I hope to see you guys once in the future. And with that, oh, well. <clears throat> you all leave the porcupine and Kai behind. <laughs> I haven't been a I part know. of your party for... Uh, the, probably the most dangerous adventure your party has gone on yeah. to date. And has definitely, you know, proven his mettle in, uh, in fights. And has definitely given the party the edge they needed to uh, find themselves victorious. Most importantly, you walk away having met, having made a new friend and someone yeah. to, you know, Call back on in case in you need That's help right. in the future. With that, you all go back into Eldilon as you kind of... Dis it's time for you to decide what your next leg of adventure will uh, will, will be. Oh boy. And we'll pick this up next week without OSG. Uh, Shadow, you've been a fucking amazing guest to have, man. I'm, I'm very... It's so good. Very appreciative Ooh, of you. So wanting, to, wanting to be a guest for such a long stretch of time. Um, I mean, of course. And, if I can uh, play, I will play. <laughs> really the appreciate OSG your, your left one more parting gift. Shenanigans. Yeah, so OSG. There's a parting really gift needs, for you, Dutch. You need an apology. <sighs> you need to give an apology, OSG. Nah. I did, I did nothing. I did nothing. Nah. I take it back. Your cunt and I hope you fucking fuck <laughs> off. How do you feel about spicy food, Dutch? I love spicy Get him out of here, Dutch. Asshole, Get him out right? of here. Can I take it back? Because you've been shit mid guests, mid mid guests. Oh, oh, mid. Oh, oh, for, for anyone confused, uh, we've now passed 900, 900 pounds. Yay! Raise for charity. Yay! So Dutch has to eat a chili pepper, and Ethan and Koiba have to do a Hades randomizer race. I have to look at how to. Do that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you like a week and a half <laughs> next weekend or something. We'll see. Oh god damn it! Well, give okay. me the randomizer. Shatter, regardless, you've been a great guest, man. I hope you enjoyed great. being here. Uh, thank you for the great. patience you've shown yep. us because we are a fucking 
bunch of nightmare. <laughs> you're, you're a idiot, and that nightmare. makes sometimes. chaos D&D so. Absolute. I mean, I mean, at least I had, I had enough time to make the character. That was, that was, that was true. <laughs> true. That was true. 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 <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed, man. And uh, it's, uh, I, I really am appreciative of, of you, you know, bringing us Kai and, and adding Kai to the world. Kai that, is that so is, good. That is uh, the D and D world that we play in. Um, great character. And his story finished on a high too. I mean, he's a captain now. I yeah. 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 thought yeah. you were going to say his story is finished on a high too. He got laid. That also. <laughs> that <laughs> also that. that too. <laughs> on the subject of which. Um, yeah. In the morning, uh -huh. when we got up. The Davian come out of Celeste's room? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My guy. Yeah, boy. And with that, uh, we'll be here yeah. uh, next Sunday for Dungeon Select without OSG. And we'll be here Thursday for The Witcher One Shot yeah. Part 2, where we'll have, we'll have Laura, we'll have oh, yeah. Koiba, we'll have Beanie, we'll have Danny Dicely and uh, Danny Ismera. Tom uh, yeah. the same cast. Speaking of yeah. Denny Dicely. Speaking of Denny Dicely. They're live. And they only they just, just went live. live. They just went live right now? Well, that's yeah. fucking perfect. Yeah. Then. Let's fucking send it. Baby. Let's try timing. Also, mm. imagine me tweeting before stream, uh, like, today's session brought to you by my new dice I get to use. Cut to not rolling a single dice the whole no session. Roll. No roll. <laughs> cool. Sucks to yeah. me. Yeah, this was a very, like, just talk to, talk heavy <laughs> yeah, session. Yeah, RP. Just, it, it happens, you know? Just asked in such like every three seconds lore. God. Next week. True. Yeah. Next week, man. I'll get to roll them. Make sure your your friends are uh, truly boom. traumatized. Yeah. We're gonna raid our friends over at Dice D and D. Danny Dicely, their DM, will be playing uh, in the Witcher one shot this Thursday. Yeah. They're an amazing cast of 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 D and D nerds, and and they deserve more credit. So show them some love, and um, we'll see you here tomorrow for Divinity question mark. I'm down for Divinity. Yeah. Hell yeah! Tomorrow for Divinity. Hey, hey, yeah. I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything to stop Divinity tomorrow. So. Uh yeah, me neither. So uh, have a good night, y'all, and we'll catch you guys next time. I will Ooh. stop it. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. I'm gone. Bom, 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 bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And now slowly like fade out, just like. Bum, bum.